Let's try to talk this talk these ideas Let's try to talk this talk these ideas So this is definitely not a YouTube uh, safe song. <laughs> no, I'm listening to not. Ghetto D by Master P, learning how to make crack. Exactly. You've heard this song before, Tino? Come on, bro. <laughs> make crack like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Neighborhood Coke man. All right. We got to make our intro tag. No, nah, no, nah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Have to use the old one. <laughs> nah, nah, we yeah, ain't used to feel so naked without it. Mm-hmm. At least we get the cheers, right? We going a different way, a different direction. All right, any preference for music? Um, man, you can just play anything from the two thousands. This I is two thousands hit. That's crazy. That's what that's what this is. Yeah. Should sound like nineteen eighties. <laughs> <laughs> hey, feeling a special brunch episode Special hey. brunch episode Let's get this thing going What's up, everybody? <laughs> Woo! Back, in, back in the building again Back in the building again This shit sounds so um, I gotta figure Oh, that's what it was That shit is just blaringly loud I, like, I can bad, barely my hear myself <laughs> <laughs> We we got El Fuerte on the boards <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> All good. That's I'm what we straight do. from overnight, <laughs> lack of sleep. But we do this for y'all. We, we doing do this, this live. This for y'all, baby. Who uh, are we? This is Red Solo Talk. That's right, Red Solo Talk. I am your host, Audio Jones, with the hostess that know the most is Manny El Fuerte, and with our favorite regular Repeat offender. Whoa, I don't. Okay, I mean, I don't know if I would use that one, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> the one and only Tino. How you what's doing? Up, How you what's feeling? Up, what's up? What's up, buddy? Good, good. Just talking to the mic, my, my yeah, brother. Like <laughs> yeah, that's it. Just give it a little spin. This you what, know, your third, third, third attempt at the show. Yeah, third or fourth one or two. Yeah. So we doing right. something right? You keep coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to like it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yes. That's right. So it can't be called Red Solo Talk without, without having some Red Solo cups or something in it. Each episode, we try a new drink, whether it's a cocktail, a beer, a whiskey, a vodka, a cognac. You name it, we'll try it. And this week it is a very early Sunday. We don't. This bill never records yeah, on Sundays outside yeah. of our normal recording hours. So in honor of Sunday brunch, we're doing Bellinis. Have you ever had a Bellini? No, I have no idea what a. It's like is. a mimosa, but different. Uh, what different yeah. prosecco? So a mimosa is champagne with orange juice, equal parts champagne, orange juice, and a Bellini is uh, equal parts prosecco and peach. Nectar, peach puree, puree. The proper way to do a Bellini, so we can so prob- I'm probably gonna like this. One. Yeah, so we can uh, so yeah, pop, yeah, like it. pop your uh, peach nectar and pour it into your cup. Pop my peach. Don't don't yeah, that shit. Ain't don't right. ever no, stop. Pop that peach. <laughs> don't ever say that to me again. This this cup this cup is that's pre-game. tequila. That's pre game agave. Yeah, you don't want to mix that. Nah, you're right. All right, so the proper way. So he drinks it. <laughs> Buffalo Buffalo there you, go. you buffaloed yourself So the proper way um, To make a Bellini Is by taking white peaches Not yellow peaches I learned that huh. Is you take white peaches White oh, peaches And pour it in the cup Not on your yeah, So you pour pour the peach nectar Oh shit sure. And don't make a mess on yourself Like me cause Didn't you do that last show? Uh, yeah I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really good at multitasking, I guess, especially when I'm half asleep. Oh, so shit. squeeze your peach nectar into your cup. You don't have to squeeze all of it. Squeeze my peach. You know, once it gets to the lines, you can kind of yeah. taste yeah, it. I gotta pick yeah, we got we to find another fruit for yeah. this drink. This shit. <laughs> ah. Tasty? Ah. Oh, yeah. Messy. Messy, messy. Boot. I got that peach juice on my hand. Hey, little stinky pinky. <laughs> I was watching Soul Plane and I watched the uh, the scene with Ja Witherspoon when he started like dipping his finger into the potato and he yeah. thought it was the girl. No. I, I, I do not recall. What? So, yeah, so the proper way to make Bellinis is by taking Prosecco and combining it with a peach puree that you make at home. <clears throat> and this peach puree is made with white peaches, which is 
hard to find. They're they're typically come in season in around May or some shit like that. Uh, I think they're pricier than yellow peaches, and they're supposed to be sweeter and less acidic. And then you mix that with a little hint of raspberries, and you blend it in a blender. You strain it, and that's your peach, your homemade peach puree that you combine with prosecco. This prosecco here is. I should have learned how to pronounce it. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's kind of fucked up. They don't even give the raspberries no credit. What do you mean? You said they mix it with the raspberries. Yeah, so it's peach puree. It's peach blended with a hint of raspberry. You know, it's and not necessary. That's just if you want to have add a little flair. Because I ain't gonna lie, because I, I had made Bellinis before, and when you add, uh, when you added that element, I said I've been making it wrong, man. I just been using peach. Exactly. So <laughs> like, right, that's what we're doing now. So this is a poor man's Bellini. Um, when the white peaches come into season, we're going to do a legit brunch episode outdoors. I'm making this up on the fly outdoors <laughs> with cigars. Okay. And I'm going to make the actual puree with the white peaches, with the raspberries. And why don't they we say compare peach it. raspberry puree? Yeah. Well, because peach puree is what you need. I put a hint of raspberry just because I Googled it and it oh, said yeah. that's like a little touch, adds a little color to it, a little flavor to it. Um, and then our Prosecco is Borasca Valdobbiadeni Prosecco Superior. It's from Italia. Yeah. I don't know anything about it. Nothing to read about it. We're going to pop bottles here in the rest. This is the first cork pop bottle. I, I think so. I don't think we ever popped right. a cork on Let's this see. thing. I didn't Damn. break anything. That shit was dangerous. <laughs> I didn't break anything. <laughs> All right, so you just top it off with the top with it off with right the prosecco. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> facts, facts. So that's all the drink is. You just top it off with the prosecco. I've had these. I've had these in Las Olas. And you have yourself a Bellini. And you get toe up from the floor. Oh, that's up. not champagne. No, this is prosecco. What's the difference? Remember, I don't drink. Um, I'm not sure actually. <gasps> the hostess that's good. That's good. That's good. that knows the most is don't know. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even think to research that. <laughs> nah, it's all good. We don't expect you to be God. <laughs> it's right. a joke. So yeah, I was just gonna say <laughs> Sunday brunch. Sunday brunch. Oh, same, same. Sunday brunch. Bellini. Bellinis. Sunday brunch with Red Solo Talk podcast. Yes. First time Sunday brunch. Uh, you know what? I did have some grits this morning. Ah. So it, just, it seems about it's right. It's nighttime for me. I worked the overnight shift, so. And so he, so he appreciate that, my guy. Cheers. 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 He couldn't wait. Cheers. It tastes Cheers. so good. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry I about it. Next episode. Next episode. <laughs> this is the first thing I like. Yeah. Hey. First thing. By the by the by your seventh um episode, you're gonna be a cold stone <laughs> alcoholic. Nah, I doubt it. <laughs> Cause I'm strictly on like if it don't taste good, it just don't taste good. So I don't drink not drink because um oh I don't want to get drunk and like it just that shit's nasty as fuck. <laughs> but <laughs> you would drink this again? Yeah, I would. Okay. I bet you I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna and we'll, we could probably make this for the, uh, my, the like for instance, my um, I mean to cut you off, my, my homegirl. She 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 always orders, but she orders like bitch a girl drinks. Yeah, I'm not gonna say bitch drinks. Girl drinks, it's cause she know like okay, it's cause I don't like the taste. So she if she get something that tastes sweet, just just yeah. to make me drink. If I can get a a tequila cocktail for you, I promise you gonna like it. What what, what does it entail? I doubt it. Cause 1942 and pineapple juice. Mm. It would have to be, it would, juice it would have to be a lot of mm. pineapple juice. Yeah. Well, this particular tequila no, this is is this him. I recommend Classe Azul though. If you like, if you have more of a sweet tooth, like it has that that notes of vanilla in yeah. the Classe Azul is pretty good with a, with a splash of. It's a sipping. Juice. It's a sipping we've done, tequila. I think we've done on the pod. We've before. done it a lot of times. I've done so but much. Like, this is like really like sweet, sweet. This should have fucked you. Yeah, sneak up on you, like yeah, this is. Yeah, this so I probably would drink that. So like, like, but you know, like um, this is what the bitches the on sundresses on rooftops get drunk to. Dukes and Dames or oh, that caramel, yeah, that caramel shit. So it had, it had a, a hint of caramel. It did taste yeah. good, but I probably wouldn't drink it a lot just because I still taste the alcohol. I don't, I don't drink, like the, I don't the like flavored period. whiskeys. Any whiskey that's flavored. So I l- learned about Bellinis as an alternative to mimosas because I don't. I'm not a big fan of mimosas. So I freshly squeezed my own orange juice. I did some research and f- bought a fire ass champagne, Hotel Champagne. And 
it was the best mimosa I ever had compared to mimosas on rooftops. It was the best mimosa I ever had, but it still didn't call my attention. Uh, and then I had a Bellini out one day, and I loved it. So this is like my go-to brunch drink. Because I think this, the, whatever the other thing is, the, the, um, the Prosecco. champagne. Yeah. yeah. It has, you like beer, huh? I do, yeah. It has a beer taste. Yeah. It. But I barely taste it. Yeah, I, I like it. I like, I like this drink. I like Bellini's a lot. So I, I can't wait to is. compare it to it being done the right way. Like I said, some cigars outdoors. Yeah, with, with the right setting. the right peach puree. Mm -hmm. right, com right company. <laughs> and yeah, so... Yeah, so um, man, I like it. I've been a fan of Bellinis. So uh, if you guys are ever you having like some brunch, oysters. yes, and that's one thing that I do enjoy about brunch. And every female knows you're gonna be fucked up by three, four o'clock, <laughs> and then you probably end. Up, you're gonna be on the yacht. Do sundresses <laughs> do anything for you? Um, I love me a sundress. I ain't gonna lie. It's like. You know, I, I say it's, it's like how girls Especially feel about when gray sweatpants. Mm -hmm. and that shit, she, you said when they wear what? How girls feel about guys wearing gray sweatpants is how guys feel about girls wearing sundresses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a fact. That's a fact. A girl in a, in a sundress is going to get it every time. Oh, God. Well, depend on the... Whether they whether she wants it or not? The stock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I went out to the C.B. Smith Water Park. <laughs> what, what the fuck is the joke? <laughs> <laughs> you went to the water park. Oh yeah, and I saw I, I saw what life could be and what life shouldn't be. And I said, um it's got step we got yeah, we gotta step our game up out here, man. It's a lot of mm. You remember the joke where I think it was um Dave Chappelle, he's like, There's no such thing as good thirty six year old pussy. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, 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 that's a very lie. 20, uh -oh. 24, 25 is the threshold. Anything after 25, right, you're Leonardo. old. <laughs> so Leonardo nah, I see, I, but I see now. I see. I was out there and I was like, oh, that, shit. <laughs> no. I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. So what you got in store for us, audio? Hey, well, guys, got I wanna, I wanna, we, we, we've got a bunch of topics. Fancy now. words. Some of them we probably going to skip by. Some can of them we, we can might we approach. Scroll? We should, can, is there a way to like have text scroll up? Like, scroll I could, I could, I, I, can add that, I can add that in just the post. The words, just the, the random ass words. I can add that in the post. Audio sent me some words. I had to Google every single one of them. That's because I'm a genius. <laughs> 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 no, so we do got some topics. I'm gonna leave some of these um, grander ideas <laughs> for the end of the uh, end of the list here. Don't be shy. So we can just jump right out there into the salacious <laughs> current events. Um, I'm sure everybody here is aware of Candace Owens. Oh, we going right to it. Let's get let's get to the shits. Let's get the shits out the way. Mm -hmm. we can we can we we can bore them to death with our uh, perceived ideas and understandings of words we only heard three days ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what we do. Rest all the time. We record our hangouts. It's as real as it gets. Keeping it real, real, dog. Candace always had some um, statements she made out there and on her podcast. And I quick glance, I had jumped because I'm a headline reader. I jumped right to my opinion and I already knew what was the right answer. Mm -hmm. Then I watched the content and I said, I double back and change my position immediately. Are we going to play mm -hmm. it for them? Dude, should we play I, it? I have a queued up. Queued up? I'm a Let's go. Let's right. run it. Let's so run what, it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the music. I'm going to give you a blast so you can cue it. It's my spot. Hey, right now we're about to get into world premiere. <laughs> Candace Owens. Candace Owens take on hot take. Uh, just some context. She's talking Red, about hot a, a wheel take. Uh, well, I'll just I'll see what this doesn't fill. We can fill in the blanks. That's right. Should we talk every once in a while? For the jump copyright? in there. Jump in there. Absolutely. Fair use. <laughs> so it's a skims Okay Wow I like bras and underwear She's on podcast women's. friendly <laughs> <laughs> Okay Okay. 
Okay, we can we pause? Yeah. Can we pause? Can we pause? So, what I don't want to happen is an abject reaction to wokeism. Like everything, there are elements of of inclusivity that should be pushed to the forefront because it actually matters, or there, or it deserves some light. You know, but I don't want to get so sensitive because. Then we, then it becomes this in the, then it becomes a vicious cycle and then an hour just in this I cycle. Think that's the, mm-hmm. It was just like I think it's just you, like, guess what? Oh. People in wheelchairs buy things, <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got to add with somebody in a wheelchair. It's like uh, yeah, as a capitalism, like yeah, I want to sell to everybody. <laughs> you know what I wonder? I think about these types of talk show political commentators. What? No, I was just saying I don't think like if you wouldn't have brought it to the wheelchair person' attention, he would have felt no way. But now that you bring it to their attention, then she picked. She picked a fight. No, was I'm it, talking about it? like them adding that ad in there to say like, "Oh, I'm being so I'm I'm being aware of the wheelchair community." Like I, th- I don't even think that was an issue to the wheelchair community until you brought it up. To the but wheelchair her, her, community. her 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 objection is that we're 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 being overly inclusive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, so. you're just making a bunch of wimps. She's 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 she's, she's, she's picking a fight. That is like ain't, ain't nobody like no. I, I don't feel that bad about seeing a, a wheelchair ad or or, or or a model in a wheelchair in an ad because reality. I don't feel about the ad. I don't feel no way about the ad. But I don't feel like the ad was necessary neither. Why? What do you mean? <laughs> like. I, I'm just saying, like, like I don't care that they did it. I probably wouldn't have brought it up in let in a, in a podcast or to anybody. But they should have. But used it's like able body person. I don't think they should have. They shouldn't. I'm just saying, like, I don't think it was necessary. Like, like to oh, bring light to the wheelchair community. Like, yeah, I don't think that they felt any kind of way if they didn't see it or they didn't see it. Like, like yeah, I, don't I think agree. That with they you. felt away. Like, so now everybody in a. Like how she brought up the fact that not everybody in crutches they need an ad now. Not everybody that has one they need an ad now because they can feel this. I like, think it's I think like it's now you're making it's a, smart so, capitalism. That's the only thing it is. Yeah, my my my. But um, it's, not, it's, it's smart capitalism, but it's not solving a problem of like oh, one of my feel one of my ex friends said we should create like a whole business based on midgets, <laughs> like stuff for midgets. And I was like, that's a great idea. All he did was niche down like the shit you always preach. Exactly. It's not saving the world. It's not specifically for midgets, like cannons? You know, maybe like things to reach, you know, like clothes for midgets, you know, like like a a hub, a store. You're not trying to save nobody or help nobody. But that's that's my point. Like, she's she's getting. Are they as a demographic? That's what we got to find out. Yeah, but sometimes enough for it to be profitable. Exactly. And people buying gifts for their midget friends. Yeah, I need to buy a gift. They I go need to the midget star. So, but, but that's but you know what? I can still Zara's. say that's not the problem. That's not solving a problem. You putting a wheelchair ad in there, that's not solving a problem. The yeah. people were gonna buy underwear, yeah. whether they had that ad or not. It's not a problem. I, I love what you're saying. I can't wait to go. <laughs> it's not solving a problem. That's the so like that, there might that's be the, that's the assume that you believe there's a lot of probably like oh there's probably but, no no like but something for them to reach what 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 what, what, what I'm what, what I'm would just, you make a underwear ad for midgets but I'm so what I can feel comfortable as a person but what I'm disconnecting you know what I'm, I'm just I'm just I mean they already have baby gap I'm disconnect I'm disconnecting <laughs> myself from the fact that this all was like righteous it's just to me it's just like it's an ad. It's, that's it's, all it was. it's this actual functionality as it works in the capitalist space of so of commerce. Agree. So it's just like, but her that find objection with it to me, that was just kind yeah, of just so weird. I, I agree with both like, of you, <laughs> and I sometimes wonder when it comes to political commentators. Mm-hmm. Right, I try to put myself in their shoes. I, imagine your whole life, your whole career is being involved with the culture war, the poli- political war, all, you know, all, all that tribalism. I always wonder, you know, how do they not get jaded? And I think, to agree with you first, Mm. there's something, too, where, you know, I'm sure we'll touch on this in the podcast in the future, whatever, where, you know, I don't believe in racism. I don't think racism exists. And, um... (laughs) (laughs) uh, That topic number two! (laughs) Yes. uh, Sexism. All all kinds of victimhood mentality. I'm against all that. I don't know what. Right? (laughs) So, so, so... You know, my, one of my biggest arguments against the, the conversations where we focus on racism and everything is that it's it's that vicious cycle or that um, there's a term where you pr- where you pr- pr- pro um, where you make it manifest where you manifest it right like you you you're you're damn near <sighs> campaigning phrase. it you you oh, it's um, appropriate 
There's a name yeah, where you make it where a self-fulfilled prophecy. Self-fulfilled mm-hmm. prophecy. Okay. okay. Not it's the a word self-fulfilled I was pro- of. prophecy when you look for things. So I think it, this is a, a, a version of that where what you were saying is your your antennas are so heightened for wokeness and you know wokeness going too far that you see this ad where there's a wheelchair and, in, and, and you assume it has to do with with inclusivity and it has to do with with you know mm. uh, just virtue signaling and all that. But uh, where I agree with you is so there that was three three weeks ago that she made those comments and three days ago. She made a rebuttal to the, the how it went viral to okay. the critics, you know, going viral this clip where she was talking about the wheelchair ad. And long story short, we didn't finish. We didn't we paused at a certain point. But there's two things that you didn't notice. One, because we paused and another thing, because you can't see it. And if you've seen the ad underneath the wheelchair where it shows the one some of the product, it shows adaptive bra or something like that. So that key, that word adaptive is key. Functionality. 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 Yeah. Number two is she mentions towards the end, she says, you know, edu- someone educate me. What am I missing here? You know, whatever. whatever. She bought grace. So, so a bunch of critics sent her a bunch of crap and we're going to, you know, the wheelchair, the able is this and the disabled are going to take over. We're going to be, every- but there was one person who gave like a legitimate critique where she said, you want to be educated? Well, here's why that ad exists. Because Allegedly, handicapped, not handicapped, people in wheelchairs have trouble putting on their clothes. And there is technology in this skims line that where the adapter comes into play, where there's some technology fixes, fixes the problem. where it fixes the that's problem what, what of, <laughs> of, you know, having trouble putting on your underwear. And it's, and that is why it is targeted to the wheelchair community for the, so it makes Cap- sense. Cap- that use, capitalism. So that, it makes sense. They're, 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 um, Using that thing. And to Candace Owens' credit, she owned up to it. She said, that makes sense. I applaud it. it blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, good for but, her. Good so, for so, her. Yeah, good but for I her. can also see why there's sensitivity to a soup. And that's my problem with it. When you focus on racism, sexism, all these victim shit. Isms. You, all these isms. You start looking for and I did identitarianism as a whole. Ends up being no, the filter that you see everything. The through. world, yeah, yeah. It yeah. started becoming it, it, it infects your worldview. Yeah. Where now everything, it, it's and that's why I'm, I'm yeah. policing. If you believe in, if you believe in racism, you're going to find racism. And if you yeah. don't believe in racism, you're not. going When, be when I made this, it, I say, you, you sure you can find a rock? Mm-hmm. Just keep looking for it. You're going to find exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly my point. So yeah, that's my take on it. The, the excellent take. I like the. I, I like both of you guys um, because you did. You speak on something that I. Um, he definitely did the research. <laughs> yeah, that nigga good right there. That nigga, that's probably the one time he was like, man, I'm gonna spend about thirty minutes on this one. <laughs> no, no, because you know, no, for not me, playing no, with you. I'm playing with this you. This was easy with you. for me because for me, I didn't know shit about this, but I get the topic right. There's controversy, right? And there's always two sides to it. So the first, the uh, first thing I I looked for was the. Not people talking about it was the actual clip. Watched it in full. Then I saw there was a rebuttal. So I watched that. And I got the full picture. And then now I'm here. Bam. So as a producer, I picked a good topic. I guess so. <laughs> but Can one I, day we're going to get into the race. It <laughs> seemed like there was some. <laughs> oh, buddy, buddy. That, we'll save that for buddy. February. <laughs> Nah, that's too long. That's too long. That's too long. What is your... Even, what, just, just a quick... Part was recent. <laughs> yeah. hey, why, why are we going to wait to February? Quick brief synopsis. Uh, what, what? 60 seconds? Like an elevator pitch? Elevator pitch. Racism don't exist. Why? It could be five minutes. I don't give a No, so mm-hmm. elevator pitch for... Uh, elevator pitch is this. Uh... Everything's like a pendulum, right? And there's an overcorrection. So the level of racism that exists today does not reach a level that will hinder you in your life as long as you don't make it your life focus. So if you want if you if you want to self-fulfill prophecy and f- put everything through a lens of racism, you're going to find it, you're going to see it. Same thing yeah, when you have conspiracy searching. theorists yeah. with numbers, you know, you can you can, if you turn, you know, the number 24 uh, to mean something, you're going to find 24 everywhere you look. You're going to find, you know, I, I, I can do some math with the number of books on these shelves. And if you divide it by this, you get 24. So I'm being followed by, you can, you can do this all day. And I think racism has, with all the advancements of society, I think racism falls in that category where the, 
the 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 people that are quote unquote racist don't have power, and the people who don't believe in racism and don't let that hold them back are able to succeed and fulfill their dreams and reach their potential just like any other race. And 100%. That's why I don't believe in racism. That's fair. So, I, I, I like that assessment. Yeah, so, you know, I like I, I, so you mean, you mean, in, you mean in modern times exactly. to the degree and detriment of, in respect of what people, because because then, because I don't want to produce victimhood, whereas it's like, they actually yes. had real, like, it was, yeah. worse. Mm-hmm. it was worse back then mm-hmm. And it was in, in a little bit more In your face I think I just think now it's a little bit more hidden And okay, it's, not, but, it's not as worse So, ex- as worse. so educate me As Candace Owens Educate me <laughs> Where <laughs> racism is holding you back Or stopping you from so anything so, so it's not necessarily like I can't say that it's holding me back all the time But I can't say that it doesn't happen I, I, so so let me just say the definition of racism is like when somebody does something to you because of your because of the color or because yeah. of your skin. So I've got like where I've been in a situation and this white boy, a white guy, did it because I was there and I was black. They assumed that I did it. Yeah, we were friends, me and this white boy, but we clearly like, wow, that's crazy. Like, you the one did the fucked up shit, bro. I was just chilling. I was even actually the one who told you, don't do that. Because <laughs> we can't get in it. But they just automatically yeah. went straight to me and assumed that but it was... But was that pre- racism or prejudice? Yeah. Were you in an area so where... So that's why I asked you, because I didn't want to go into this wordplay that y'all like to do. It's not yeah. wordplay. <laughs> are, we, are we saying that racism is... They, 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 they assumed it was me because of my color of my skin or the color of my... That's we were in a high crime area. Yeah, exactly. We, exactly. Uh, so, like, so, where so, is this all occurring? So it, it actually happened... Yeah, so when I say... It happened in, in Wynwood early... Before Winwood was Winwood. Okay, before Winwood was Winwood. Winwood before Winwood was Winwood was the yeah, hood. So it was on. It was on the cusp of coming to like anybody who it was, knows. It wasn't like Winwood historically. Winwood, you know Winwood was not the place to be. Yeah. Winwood but it happened was on, the like, hood. There's similar, there's similar like things that happen, and I know that like because I'm black and you're because I I like. Or you, or you, you're experiencing these experiences in places where there might be. A prejudice between yourself and um, the community and law enforcement, but yeah. because it's high levels I mean, of crime. I'm, I'm, well, I can't even say high level. Okay, so for instance, where, where I, when we first moved to Cooper City, when I moved the first moved to Cooper City, there was no high level of crime. It, I was there shouldn't like, be no crime in Cooper City. You know what I'm saying? I love like, Cooper City. Yeah, it still is. Yeah, like no high level of crime. But even back then, crime. when we first moved there, like I was like literally. Like, literally almost the only black guy. Like, even my dad and, like, my mom, my stepmom, she's white. My dad looks white. Like, if you, if I don't tell you he's black, yeah. you say he's white. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm even so, like, so I'm there. Like, so you won't even know unless you see us, like, commuting. Because you would say, that, oh, that's his house. Because you normally see the white lady and the white guy coming yeah. out of the house. If you mm-hmm. didn't think that this was their son, you know what I'm saying? You went to, and I was real young at the time. But I, and on going to school, this white police officer would pull me over, like damn near. He did it for like almost like a week straight, to the point like I had to like say something about it to my boy. Like, and even to the point I would just once I seen him, I just pull over. Yeah. Like, bro, you, I'm late. Just you're gonna make me late. You just get it over yep. with. Give me that one baby. individual could have had yeah. racist racial undertones. Okay, you're, you're, but and, it's a, it's and, a form and, of racism. Yeah. Whether, it, did it hold? Did it hold me back? Like oh nah, I'm I'm not, I'm not a good person and yeah. I can't I can't move forward in life. No, but that doesn't mean that it didn't exist and it didn't happen. Yeah, one That's you're you're you're, you're you're older, so when you're younger, it's not as yeah, it's not as nice as it is today. And and again, I'm being lazy with my words, just you know to. I mean, for fun, I'm saying it doesn't exist. I don't literally mean that. What I what I do mean though is that the levels of racism and prejudices that do exist, they're exceptions to the rule now. And in general, society has moved past that, and I you can so. attain whatever your wildest dreams drive you to. Now, if you want to focus on, can, can it stop you totally? Probably not, but can it can it make it harder for you? Probably yes. There's a lot of things in life that 
the life it, life is hard. But, 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 there, there's is so a, many life other is a factors. Tragedy. Yeah. But, but, there's but, things, but, there's but things you, that, there's things that, that a white person is gonna be affected by that maybe you are not that 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 crystal gives meth. You help. <laughs> that is not a black people problem. <laughs> that is a white boy problem. <laughs> like, I don't think it but reaches that, a threshold. That doesn't where, mean it doesn't there just because there's yeah. something else there. So like, so what you're saying is like, I think it's such an exception. So I, I, like dogs will chase me, but 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 a damn lion will chase you me. So the lions don't dogs. It doesn't matter if dogs chase because lions chase you too. That's but there's not there's not lions running around my neighborhood. Exactly. Yes, 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 yes. So the but degree saying, of no, like, I'm saying there exposure. there were there was a time where because of your skin color, society held you back for real and. But yeah, and we don't we don't live in those times so they, anymore. Because they and, do it more secretly, but they still do it. Uh, still how? Like, you 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 uh, like you have you ever been like poor or like I'm actually a serious question. I, mean, I, I think I'm poor now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like when I say, say so, just by that fact, no, you never been poor. Mm-hmm. If you think you poor now, you have no fucking clue. Yeah. So like, no, you never been poor. But I'm just saying, like, if you've been like in a real fucked up nigga, like you know that, like, yo, there's the things that's stopping you. And it, it's like, can I do more? That it's like, I'm not saying it's stopping you, stopping yeah. you, but it's making it harder for you when you know that, like, you and this person is on the same level. He went yeah. through easy. You have to work twice as hard. Now, I, I, now, will, will I say that there are people that are still suffering from the ramifications, System, systemic, from 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 you know, there, there are still there are still remnants of the the the, the consequences of of our historic racism. Yeah, we sure. can have that conversation. Crime bill. But, um, in the nineties, sure? yeah. But if yep. there's someone, still, so that's that's saying that's stuff. Oh, no, I mean they, there's been reform, yeah, I mean, but yeah. I'm just saying like they, they, there's people who, who I just think like it, it happens because the, but because it's not of, so in your face, you don't you don't you're not so aware you're not so aware of it. Yeah. No, well, no, I mean it's because you made a statement that oh the people in power are not racist. I'm like oh I don't know about that. There's not enough people in power that are racist. To to and then and then we would have to if you're defining racism being racism and in the way that I understand it, I think it, the, the number is so marginal. That exactly, it's just they're like, an exception to the rule. It don't matter. It don't matter. When I, try, if, I, yeah. if I were to meet someone that is legitimately racist, they just did like, it. It doesn't matter what I do as an individual. It doesn't matter so my character. Rich, rich, it doesn't matter how Spencer. I act because of how I look. They're going to treat me a certain way when I meet some. If I meet someone like that. I just feel bad for them. Adam, they're 20, the ones going to have a worse off life than me. So I saw this one situation. I, I so I'm just going to the thing. On, I saw a situation where this black couple, they were getting their house of praise. So they kept getting their house of praise. It got like, it was like over like they got under appraised like two hundred and close to like half yeah. a million or something like that, right? So that was holding them back because they, because they're black, they kept they kept doing it because and how they knew that was so they went and got another appraiser, took everything that identified them of that they're black out of the house and had their white friend come in there and stand there with them and they got half a million higher. Yeah, you know what I mean, I'm saying. So now, did it actually hold them back? No, because they got smarter and they did something else to make it happen. So it didn't technically hold them back forever, forever. You can find so a- they found a loophole and they found a way to get around it. But I can't you, say that it didn't exist because it just it you happened. can find yeah. a, you can find a rock if you go look for it. You can find yeah, yeah, yeah. you can find anecdotal stories. 100%. So, but okay, so you can't say it doesn't exist. Uh, yeah, that's, that's why I said I'm being lazy with my words when I say it doesn't exist. But what I mean for real is the level to which it does exist in society. Is in modern so day society, low, it's, modern, like, it's so low that if in general everyone lived their life like it didn't exist. Ninety nine percent of people will probably just have flourish. decent life and flourish, and and not and not subscribe and not to be held ability. back. Because I know of so many. So you're society. saying it's the people that think that that is racism and they, 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 they manifest yes. it. Yeah, so it's, it's that self that, like, pro- being problem. One hundred percent. They're the one that's causing yeah. the problem, not the people that's causing the problem. One hundred percent. I know too many black successful professionals that I'm like, so what they? That's do what I'm saying. Right? Like, I don't think that is. Like, How many police brutality accounts do we see where we look and we have to? We might not want to be willing to say it in public, but we look at it like that motherfucker. Maybe he should have just listened. Maybe he should have just segue. Tyler Nichols, the black officers have been decertified in order for them to pursue. You know, uh, I guess more um, uh, robust penalties, mm. but all the officers, all the officers involved in this particular situation are black. Racism, or is poor training? Because if, if, it, was, if it was all white officers, it's going to be racist. 
<laughs> so, yeah, like, so is it poor training or racism? I'm going to say, yeah, it might be racism because, reason why, because all this shit happened 50,000 times with white people, y'all didn't choose to make them the point to like, look, you're going to be the point that we make that you shouldn't do this. You choose black people. When they did it, now we got to make a point out of it. So That's an interesting take. That's why I asked. I said racism because I said no. You know, you, you, I see. Did you, you understand the take? Yeah, absolutely. That the reason the cops are being targeted is because they're black. Yeah, because they were decertified. That's the first time I ever seen that. So like, yeah. but there's plenty of times white people did worse. Damn. So wait a minute. And then they didn't get they, they didn't decertified get, they didn't get to, them to 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 pursue litigation against them in a different uh, because they're decertified. You're saying that if it they was, would lose protection. So you're saying if it was white cops, those yeah, cops yeah. would have been racist. But then the system would have been racist for not punishing them as harsh. I've never seen decertification. That's the, the that 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 act being taken yeah. in the litigation. And I was like, they did that strategically. And I was just like, they lost their protection. They lost. Their, yeah. It's like you're not you're not. Taking so, it's not even, so it's not even Tyree Nichols. That's that that is the victim of racism. It's the cops that are the victims of racism. Dude, so you, so so what, when everyone found out the cops are black. Now we have to change the yeah, angle so, of the, where the so racism is coming from. So now, now racism, you did it. Oh, now I you did it. it. <laughs> so now, now we got to make this a point. This, this sport is wild. Dude, yeah, man, I, you need we, skills for racism. You don't even know where to go Damn. post that. <laughs> You're going to find it. You're going to find it somewhere. <laughs> hey. Not playing devil's advocate, but I did see that and I was like, that's yeah. interesting. That yeah, was I'm interesting. Say, like, it's just hitting a little bit more. <laughs> not to say that they did not decertify other police officers. No, Officers. Yeah, they fucked up, but it's like you well, no, the, 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 the actual act of decertifying. Um, My bad, I keep decer- doing decertifying the police officer in order to pursue more robust litigation was interesting to me. Yeah. Not to say that it doesn't happen in other cases, but it just it wasn't made yeah. privy to me. This one, <laughs> the media made this more prevalent for me to find out that oh, they got decertified. Okay, so that would remove certain protections. Yeah. Okay, cool. Damn, I've never seen that before. <laughs> but yeah. could just be ignorance. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to give myself some grace. That that that, that it's an interesting take. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, and I'm obviously I'm biased, right? You know, I lived a certain life. My father, being black in America, first generation, lived a certain life in America that he, you know, instilled those lessons onto me. And all all my observations through people I know. And my own eyes have been that regardless of race, your actions dictated your outcome. A hundred ninety nine point nine 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 to point zero 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 thousand thousand percent. So you know, remember how we was talking earlier about objective and all yeah. this, whatever. So like, this is me playing the devil. I mean, because you're light skin. Yeah. Because of you were raised like with a different. Like, I was raised without the anger that 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 multi generational uh, blacks have in America. So, so maybe they're taught, they're they're taught, they're taught they to immigrant. believe. So maybe you didn't see it. So it's not it's not a thing. So, but somebody, exactly or not only that, but then the stories my dad tells me when he so came like to America. My dad so, tells me stories because he grew up on a plantation mm-hmm. where they call, they where if he would go get a fig, they yeah. call it nigger fingers. Yeah. And if he would go get here, yeah, like, he probably he lived he, like, some so real he some racism. Like, that's why he looks the way he yeah. looks because. Shit. But you talking about the figs? They call yeah. them nigger fingers? Yeah, back then. And he was like, and as, as a kid, he asked the man, like, why do you call these nigger fingers? Because they look ashy at certain points of the So joint. the fact that you would even think that that's like, that makes I sense. Mean, I'm no, no, I'm not talking about you. Yeah. I'm talking about yeah. him. So it's like, it was shit yeah. like that he go through. Oh, 100%. Or, that's what or, I'm saying. Or like, or, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, in modern times. Like, the, even like, so the pain his, and his hatred sister, doesn't let us see the advancement. He was born on a plantation. His sister was a, lived in the house. Why they they were they were going the house like that was some real like like field nigga house nigga type shit. Yeah. But the sister was allowed because she was female. Yeah. That's lighter skin. Even though he's light skin too, but since he's male, he he didn't he wasn't allowed with the other family because that wasn't. And I don't want to say too much about my 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 family background because I'm not sure. But you, you know, you forget, you, if you, you think, forget the camera on sometimes, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> if you think about where I'm trying to go with this, it happened, yeah. and that's why they're so light skinned You know what I'm saying? Like his mm. older son, like his older brother, is dark skinned Yeah. So, but the rest of the kids came out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because my dad happened. came to America in the 1970s. It wasn't all 
it wasn't a hundred percent peachy clean in America. Oh no, too. I mean spigs were spigs. There niggas was still racism, niggas. right? Because and my thought was my grandfather is not my yeah. And my wops was wops. And my dad, you know, my dad um, has told me stories where he's faced racism, but he's always had the attitude of like he's always maintained this attitude naturally, and it came on to me where when he did interact with races. He looked. He felt bad for them. He looked down on them, like they they were beneath him. And he he oriented his life towards non racist and non and it never affected his life in so a negative I mean, way. Like, it's, it's not, I'm not even racist. My dad obviously is not affected in that way because he married a he married a yeah. woman. He's like, but what I'm saying is to, to show you that there is racism and it was fucked no, up. No, and, 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 that, and that's in the in the past. I'm mistake. saying now they made a mistake yeah. and put white on his license. He knew it would make him make it easier for him, and he yeah. left it on there. He didn't even try to change it. My birth certificate say I'm white. That's crazy. I don't know. That's Give me a bomb. Somebody, I'm some, out of you. Yeah, somebody really fucked up on that one. Like I can see how it was did. interesting. I was like, oh, I'm white. Why would they say that though? At the hospital, I was I was I was very light skinned. As a baby, you know when you come out of the baby, your, yeah. your, your pigment is so like. So they identify me as white. Mm. On my on my on my birth certificate, I'm you the. You know what? Not and now it's just waist down. Nah, that ain't white. <laughs> 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 you gotta do the drum. You gotta do the drum. No. Yeah, that's the your drum, nigga. No, it's, 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 it's combined. Yeah. No, I gotta you don't fix have, that. We don't, have, yeah, yeah, we don't have the, the yeah. drum by itself. But no, nah, I'm 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 Nigerian from the way down, baby. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, no, but racism does not exist in, t- in in today's modern society enough for you to stop your life. You're probably you need to take accountability we, we, to put yourself we, out. We have to, as a society, understand and recognize the overcorrection and start enjoying our successes and realizing that we've gotten to a point where, in general. Way more people care about your character and not how you look. Yeah, Mary. I, 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 there's I so think many. I still think there's. There's so many black grants. There's, there's, the there's, there's, yeah. there's, there's so many federal programs for being a minority that you can but, but partake see, that's in. How, that's how. That's how I know. That I'm just, I, that's how I know you have no clue what you're talking about. Because if you ever really went into those things, those things are so fighting against you to make you stuck into that situation that it I does just, not help. I, you. I, I went to. Oh actual, yeah, you know what? It does oh, not yeah, fucking yeah, help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went, oh, no, no, no. I'll admit. I went to. I went to actual because I'm the only one that got real skin in the teeth. Like I've been to actual meetings where we can apply for that grant. Have you have your stuff in order? Self accountability. Nah, nah, billions. Nah, Two hundred and forty two million dollars spent. So that's that's and, not and, that's and, not that's, and, not, that's and, not the same. We're talking about like pseudo welfare. reparations. <laughs> We're talking about no 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 and all oh, that see, stuff. I'm not, I'm not I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about grants, yeah. like grants for like businesses being just because you're minority. But do they tell you about it? No. So if you really were trying to help, well, me, that's what you were talking about. Self accountability. Self accountability. If, if, look if, for it. If, if people stop focusing so much on there's no opportunity the because of how you look. I didn't I'm say not saying you're saying. I'm saying if people stop focusing so much on because you look a certain way, you're like is hopeless maybe they should start focusing on where are their opportunities where are where is their progress the and where are, are the advancements that we fought for through the civil rights and all these movements and blah 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 and not to take part of it there if, if you follow the news or whatever we're, we are worse off than when they were slavery <laughs> so and I'm, I'm not for that so but, it's a spectrum right I think because I are, think so are, we, are we the, are like we the they, best ever that we've ever been in as far as race relations though? I think I think are we I best think, or is there a time better in the past now they were spraying us with water hoses. I, I, are, are we living the best <laughs> moment? Okay, okay, so this is this is why I kind of like this, this is where we kind of like it's it's on the fence. How many how because many, how many black like CEOs? They, how many black homeowners? I, I think it would I, I think it would have been more if they didn't do this fight for this integration thing like that because the minute well, that's you, a different argument. That's that's, mm. that's, that's now you want to argue exactly. against uh, uh, We can have the yeah, argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna agree a lot. Whatever. Yeah. How so. the past? I'm talking about right now in the present moment. Right now, I think what they, I think, you think that, that, there are, that, that there is racism that because of how you look will hold you back no matter how hard you try. No, no I didn't say hard. that. I th- I but that's what I'm th- talking about. That that's my argument. That's my point. If you as an individual do what you got to do, blah 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 blah. The 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 content of your character is going to matter so much enough. more that the color of your I skin think, is I, not going to play a factor a in your outcome. I think it's a number game. What, what does that mean? Where I'm gonna make it hard enough so there might be few individuals like you and two. 
like y'all too, or people that do that goes the extra mile or whatever the case may be. Well, like y'all, y'all gonna sneak through because y'all, y'all play, y'all, y'all. In fact, I can't deny you, but there's some people I'm gonna make it so hard and I'm gonna do it that they just don't know no better, and I'm not gonna tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> what What are some examples of like the misinformation um, um, campaign to detour it's people? Like, it's, it's just like. It's not even because it's, it's like publicly available information. No, but I mean, but I, what's the best? I mean, like they say it all the time. What's the best way to hide information is to just put it right in a person's face. Yeah, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I will. You know, I will agree with you that if I had to devil's advocate now, if I have to argue that there is racism. Like I will say that. Game. Like, no, I will say that, the, 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 that there's a way out, but I'm not gonna let you tell you. So some of y'all gonna come through because y'all gonna do yeah. the due diligence to get out. But I'm so, gonna make it to the point where you really don't know. So if you don't know, like you're just gonna stay. So like yeah. I let some of the ones that just happen to like find a way. Okay, you yeah. got it. But it's I know it's literally keep, the effort. But I know it's gonna of, keep majority it's, it's, of you down. Yeah, it's, I, the, it's, I, it's literally the effort. I agree of that. I agree that. So where did racism go? Like if right? you want to just say everybody's stupid and you just didn't Google and just no, make no, sure that no, that's the way that it. Okay, so. Now it doesn't exist. So yeah, you could do that. So, and, I, and I'm not I'm not a good enough debater to like go against you that yeah. energy cannot but, but, be created nor destroyed, right? Only tra- only transformed, whatever, only tra- thermodynamics. Yeah, only change or transform, whatever. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, so where is that negative, evil, racist energy? Where'd it go? And I think it manifests itself into the Democrat like party, where it, it evolved from overt racism. To this pseudo, to this like pseudo helpful I- ideology, social programs, yes, where, welfare, and that and is all what the, I think is the foundation for the victimhood mentality. I think the victimhood mentality stems from the remnants of true racism that now evolve from these political uh, policies that are forcing people to continue that mentality. Would you of, Would you agree because of your skin color X Y Z? Would you agree that color. black Republicans and black Conservatives tend to be better off. Uh, oh yeah, so so if you're a black Republican or a black conservative, you are you're yeah you have a huge advantage over uh, black people that are brainwashed into believing Democrat or leftist ideology. A hundred percent. I just want to be rich. I don't give a fuck about nothing. No, I'm saying is I, well, I, I if, if we get if we, if we give, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, me yeah. and him, he's very impolitical. I just say like, if we get rich, we can find a way out. He's gonna be I'm a Republican, but that's but that's part of that's part of but that's part of the that's part of that's part of the strategy. So one find a political ideology that you can mostly for the most part kind of lean. You know, I don't agree with everything. I, their stance on abortions, yeah. I don't agree with the stance on mar- uh, marriage, but wholeheartedly. You know, keeping the family together. But, oh, oh, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. And so a lot of the principles that I realized that I was like, man, I think most black people would be conservative if they were open to the concepts yeah. of the principles. Okay, so of that's part of, of the racism, how they keep it. It's not bluntly in your face. That's what he said. But that's I'm what I'm saying. Democrats. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. most people, if you ask most black people why they Democrats, they don't even know. Yeah, yeah, that's they what I'm saying. They just Democrat yeah. because my mom's yeah. Democrat or my yeah, yeah. dad Democrat. And, and, they, and your mom and dad is Democrat only 100%. because they think you're Christian. Dad, you're Christian because you, you're Baptist Christian because exactly. you was born because in the that's South. That's what black people are supposed to do. We're supposed to be Democrats it, and the Republicans are supposed to be white. So yeah. even that there is a form I, of like racism. It's I, like kind of 100%. Up. If I had to argue where racism still exists, I would 100% say the strongest case for racism is the racism that is hidden in the in the altruistic nature of Democrats telling black people and minorities in general that, you know, the world is out to get you. I think that that victimhood, that yeah. victimhood mentality is my biggest problem. That's the, the, but I think it's a lie. I think people are being tricked into believing it, but objectively it's an affection. It's an affection. separate from if they were to wake up and it's take that red it, pill. It's a and, psyop. Yeah, it's it's the, just that, the actual if, psyop. If to, so that's what I'm saying. So I, react, can't, but I, can't, I can't whip you no more with a whip and tie yeah, you to a tree. 100%. So I'm just going to convince you that this is what it, it yeah. is. Exactly. So it's still racism. I just I can't physically do it and make it look like I'm the devil. Now yeah, but, but, but it before, like it's all your fault because you're lazy. But, but now, but, but before but now, it was real. Before it didn't matter what you believe or didn't believe. You're getting whooped because of the color of your skin. This now, now is it's, different. It's strategic, so I can, can keep that vote to stay in the power. So it's not a. It's not really. It's, it, it, it started with it's racism. Still racism, but no, it's it's it's, it's, still, it's, it's, it's it's the remnants of racism that is still useful today in political strategy. But we had a lot of topics. Yeah, we. We 
Yeah. 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 This is my yeah, yeah. Damn. You, got, yeah. you like Snoop Dogg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. I saw um, Snoop Dogg on Joe Rogan. Did you see Snoop Dogg on Joe Rogan? Yeah. <laughs> he had like four or five phones open on the on the on the table, all that the screens don't time out, so they're all bright. Uh-huh. And he just had all of them and that's just how he lived his life. Oh, and wow. he was like apologizing. Joe was like, nah, man, just do do you. I, I'm just happy to be in your okay. presence. <laughs> Here we go. We're stepping in the political. Uh, round two, guys. Round two of Bellinis? Well, if there's any Bellinis, if not, then yeah, I'll just take I'm some champagne. On one. Yeah, just... There's some, There's enough for, do you want just the Prosecco? You don't want the peach? Yeah, if there's some peaches, there's peaches. No, no, there's peach. There's okay, peach. all right, let's go. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, ready, because Georgia. All right, while well, I get the drink ready. Okay. Georgia has banned. Hold on here, guys. Caesar is way better at this than me. <laughs> um, a step backwards or a necessary measure? Debating Georgia's ban on gender affirming care for tra- transgender transgender youth. So I'm a, I'm 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 gonna preface this and say, um, the ban on care would have to be defined. What, what does care mean? That's what I was. I was so like, is, are they active? The, the active transformation, the hormones. Yeah. Um, if that's what they mean by care. When they say youth, define youth, I would have to go in there and be like, at what age? So, well, what age what? Like, I'm still not understanding what, what, what we're doing. Like, at what age do they give them, like, hormones? Or what age do they let them change their sex or something? Because they, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, if it was up to me, I would say 25. You got to be 25 years old God damn. to chop your dick off. Or, <laughs> you don't think? I would say 21. Yeah, like I, 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 I choose twenty five because I, I guess allegedly the best science is that twenty five is when your brain's fully, uh, fully okay. developed. If that's, if that's your logic, I can agree with you. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. This is four years, three, four years of difference. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I'm gonna give you my stance. I think transgenderism. I don't want to say ism. Being transgender and gender dysphoria is a real thing. A, I, a real mental illness. Oops. You know, we, um, state of mind. Yeah, I wouldn't put the illness on that kind of mix. You would not say it's a mental illness? <laughs> just to be politically correct now. Oh, no, but really. just to be politically <laughs> correct, but not because it's wrong. Because I, I, I can't say if that's, I, I don't want to say like you ill because I said like, you know, it's like if you're transgender, you're not like, that doesn't make you go kill a motherfucker. That doesn't make you like, you're, you're. I didn't you're, say that, but no. But I'm saying like when you ill, that doesn't mean like your um. What is it? I'm, I'm losing a lot. Of, uh, like yeah. I'm not gonna catch it now that you come out. Like you I didn't say it's saying? contagious. That's what I'm saying. Like so I said, mental I, illness. So that's why I don't say like I don't want to say it's, it's, it's yeah like, mental it's, disorder. Can I say mental is mental disorder? I can say disorder because maybe okay. maybe that sounds a little bit because like I was, I was, I was, you were born with this part. I would call it. You know what I would mental disorder. I would refer to as a a. A phenomenon that happens in the human experience where somebody with a different genitalia, I don't know about a genitalia, either, but it's, yeah. it's, it's not it, it, a disorder I, yeah. or Fun, because of, it, it's it's an ab- sickness. abnormal experience. I would say disorder because I would just say because it, it was it's it's not normal. And well, the it wasn't meant for it to be because if it was meant for it to be, you would have came out fully a female or fully. Well, that, a woman, because the transgender is like, like, yeah. like you were born with a with a male part, but you, but mentally you feel like yeah. you're, you're supposed to be a woman, right? Yeah, so if, 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 that's if, the right definition. If you right? want to abide yeah. to gender dysphoria, and the, there, there, in, in there's, the yeah, there's gender dysphoria where you okay. So there's there's a few things. There's gender dysphoria where you. That's the only one I agree with. Okay, that, so gender that, dysphoria, I, I represent. I, I, I like. I, I, if you I down and chop your penis off, I think you believe this. I think it's like three. It's like mm-hmm. it's like so you think you belong in the wrong body. Then there's the sexual one where it's like you get off on pretending to be a girl, and then there's the last one where you get off on people thinking you're the well, not girl. You get off on being the opposite, or. You get off on people thinking you're the opposite. Okay, so those are and the disorders. Those, those, yeah, I think that, those, yeah, those are the disorders. No, I'm saying all, when you, all three of like, them. With all your cognitive all, understanding, reasons. you think that you're a girl. That's, you believe it. That's the most truest form of, of like mental disorder. Um, that's the one. That, even if with that being the case, is the one I'm like, yeah, you can medicate that guy. 
you know, like yeah, yeah like, you can you give him medical care because yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, but yeah, but, like, but here's the problem. Has, oh like, yeah, I'm fine with that. 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and that's why I say if you reach the age of 25 and you still have those feelings, chop mm-hmm. it away. Do whatever you want. You're gonna you're probably gonna commit suicide anyways. God, you know, damn. Yeah, speaking, right. I'm just I'm saying. Just like you you're fucked early about it. That everything so like, <laughs> on this show is just an opinion. And not the full opinion of all the hosts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I, I says you're probably going to kill yourself That's anyway. Statistically. I'm, well, I'm, I'm arguing with you guys saying you might as well make them happy because their life is fucked. Jesus. In, in a lot of ways. You, you, so you, you might said as well. I'm dark. Make, I'm just saying. You said it's true. I'm dark. Yeah, like, <laughs> what do you mean? I'm, I, 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 stay, I like reality. I'm living up to the height I gave you. I'm just saying. I like the reality. Nothing of, even matters. The thing is, no, no, no. But here's the thing: all of a sudden, then you get shot when they all kill themselves, and everyone's like, "What's going on?" It's like, no, let's let's, let's face reality. Now, the mental a su- disorder is of, a suicide. Of, is that they can never they feel insecure about never being able to reach a, le- a degree of suicide womanhood. Suicide doesn't really change after surgery. Suicide rates. What? Well, well, no suicide. Yes. But well, the, the motive for suicide is it? Do they? Do you? Well, I'm asking. This is all subjective yeah. because it's all speculative. Yeah, I'm not. That, I don't know. I don't. You, you never been one. Yeah. Right. Okay. But it, it appears to be fair. the it appears to be societal gender, pressure, the gender dysphoria itself. Just it's just so it's haunting. Just, yeah, like I I know I'm a women's, but you know what I can imagine. I'm just speculating See, that part. That part when they but that's, I, a, that's yeah. what we don't like speculate. I can be sympathetic to your yeah. situation, or I can understand your situation. When somebody just comes out and say like, I just want to represent. I feel like I'm a. I'm a woman one day, and then the next day you feel like you're mad. Like that's when I'm like, no, yeah. you can't do that. Bro. Yeah, exactly. You see, you're you're, you're or, picking or, and choosing. I, I can say you can do it, but yeah. you shouldn't hold me accountable of yeah. what the hell you're going through. You need to keep that to yourself. Yeah, you're picking and, and choosing like what's that. crazy and what's normal, and I'm just saying it's all crazy. And I just acknowledge that it's all mental disorder. I, I respect the different levels. Okay, so to it. A, a child going through gender dysphoria, yeah, at, is bad parenting. That's what I think, bro. What I think. the. F- Going on, <laughs> no, because I, feel like I, 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 I just so I don't say I'm gonna say bad, and I know my daughter's probably gonna kill me. But I hope you know, she yeah, you gonna get it. Yeah, That's for sure. Mm-hmm. But, How old? Uh, she's 21 uh, okay. now. But but like we've had the discussion. Yeah. She's not gay. She but has she's a woke. boyfriend. Supposedly, well, I it's like we. Like our biggest arguments, our biggest thing is because we don't I talk was, about personal things yeah. on the uh, yeah, just <laughs> Let's break this up. But, uh, oh, that's why you my guy, my nigga. Cause Matt Mitten's on the other side. Like, just, just saved my life. You ain't lying. But, but anyway, um, where was I? <laughs> where was I? And I need to go back to like. Yeah, what I was gonna say? You disagree? You disagree <laughs> on transgenderism? No, it's not. I disagree I with just, your with your daughter. Yeah. Yeah, no, but we're not talking about my daughter. I love you, baby. Yeah. We're not talking about her. We, we're talking about um, that I just, like, I don't think you can just all of a sudden just wake up and say, oh, I, I think I'm on because I can't just say, I think I'm a goat. Yeah. And now I, I, now I'm, I represent as a goat. Yeah. Now everybody, everybody here has to call me, think I'm a goat, and just running there, when it's clearly I'm a human being. Exactly. Because, again, a, 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 a good portion of them require the, the other people accept it as part of their fantasy. They so need that's why, that, that part. That, that's why I think that's yeah. where that's where like that's, that's why I disconnect. Yeah, that's, that's the, you that, allowed to think what you yeah. want to think, but that you, has you like can't a, make me yeah. feel like I that. disconnect from the start. I I just accept that it's all mental disorder, and on a case by case basis, I'll accept whatever I feel like accepting, depending on the other attributes of that person. If they're all mentally ill, then I don't want to deal with that. Period. Just because I think I, I do think I, it's, it's a bit complex because if you think the concept, if you understand the spectrum of sexuality. I know they're separate. There's gender and sexuality, but if there could be a spectrum for sexuality, there could be a. Um, well, I can't so really just, just explain the difference. Yeah, because right. I don't know the difference between gender and sex. All right, sex is orientation. Uh, in colloquially, where, how we say mm-hmm. like sex is like if I like so I like homo I like I like homo. Uh, uh, no, I don't. I like heterosexual are sex. Are you understanding what I'm saying when I say explain it to me? So uh, okay. you have to use the okay, word that he's going to okay, know what you're talking about and I don't. Okay, no. Uh, so it, it, sexuality is a spectrum. That's why you can have a bisexual person. Because to me, you know, growing up, it was like, you, if you had one penis, you're gay. But reality is like, nah, he can actually get... 
That's where we go wrong. That's no, I'm not, no, 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 no. If he has one penis, he, 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 no, no, no. But but meaning like, yeah, we can call him gay. But he has the he has the the the, the slide the scale can slide for him where he can also have intercourse with a woman and still be aroused. So he's bisexual. He's bisexual. Okay, but what's the difference between sexual sex, sexual sex and, and gender? So gender is an identity. So as my gender, I identify as a male because mm-hmm. I have um, a scrotum, balls. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't make a baby. It's so uh, so gender is 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 between yeah. male or female. Oh, I'm not deviating from that understanding. Like, yeah. So, they're, but, so, they're, so, they're, so, so, but so on, that's you're, my thing. So, if gender is male or female, and sex is male or female, to me, they're the same thing. Say what? If gender is between male and female, and sex is between male and female, I would argue well, no, the same thing. Sex can be male and male. What do you mean? It's called gay sex. Yeah. Freaky that's- shit. That I ain't down with. No, no, no. no I mean, I'm, no, I support no, no, no. it. What I'm saying just, is, if, was, if uh, gender, if gender, <laughs> this is going way if down, gender bro. is your identity between being um, identifying as a male or identifying as a female, yeah. and sex is being of the male sex or the female sex. I'm just saying that sex and gender are the same thing. Then, no. I understand you're right about sexuality. You're, yeah, so I understand what you're sexuality. saying. Yeah. So yeah, but I, but I don't think that's what he's saying. Like sex, he's talking about like having sex. I'm turned on by yeah. I sexual by orientation. Sexual yeah. orientation yeah. is different from gender orientation. Yes. Yes, because sexual orientation is what you're attracted to. Because you can, and you gender can like, orientation you can like, is what you, you like identify. little kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You exactly. can be Gerald yeah. Jared Jared Fogel. Is it Paul? Oh, Subway? Subway. And he'd be like, I just really like little boys and girls. Yeah, we talked about that. I know that. <laughs> that nigga's a freaky nigga, man. Um, so because of that being existing on a spectrum, I have will give the same respect that if that scientifically is possible, then it could be scientifically possible, not being arrogant, and just saying that maybe you have you 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 operate on the spectrum in terms of gender. Yeah. Where, where they're more hard, hard line on making that decision that I'm just I just tend to be more girl in my identity and gender. So I would like to have the transformation, but I do think it's a disorder. You know, I yeah. think it's not something that commonly happens in, yeah. in 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 nature. You know, I think when you see someone in a wheelchair or someone suffering from anything, you can have compassion. You can't. You don't have to be. I, I, you right don't, I don't have to be pro wanting people to be in wheelchairs, to to have compassion for people in a wheelchair. I like that point. I, I, can, I like that point. I, I can acknowledge that there are people that are suffering gender dysphoria. I don't, I, but I don't have to be a. I don't have to think it's a good thing. Or, or, or I don't even have to be or, an activist. Or, or want an activist to, to be like have gender dysphoria. Yeah. I can acknowledge that it's a mental illness. So this, this is and, why I agree with you, and this is why I mean, because this is why I agree with you, and that's why I still think it doesn't matter. Like it really doesn't matter because you can go have this. you know not, <laughs> because you can have like so if you wanted to cut your thing off and invert it and turn it at the end of the day you were still born they got some good a science. man and you cannot bear yeah. children so you're still a man deep well, down inside. At, it might, it might the have made you moment, feel better at the yeah. time or make you feel better but like so playing devil's the day, so playing still, devil's advocate in 10 years in, in science science evolves where they can now implant you with a uterus and ovaries what well, you can't change the chromosomes you still like well let's say that it, we we find the work around and yeah. we find I mean, the, then the we're, sciences yeah, I mean are then are we human at yeah, that point yeah. like yeah. we're like becoming like a species now like, yeah, yeah, like like now, a whole we just thing. unisex yeah now yeah, we're just, evolving yeah. into yeah. something like else something else designer like, yeah, people like, when we get to that mm-hmm. level of technology we're, we're a different like, we're species fucked, right? yeah we evolved at that point to something else but as of now to get back to the point at hand is the children thing so if we acknowledge that transgenderism is an unfortunate mental disorder we shouldn't we shouldn't entertain that in children as if it's something that is just normal and just something we need to accept it's something that we need to acknowledge as a mental illness and try to work work with it and try to help heal them and not till they go to such re- a drastic not exactly extent. not not remove body parts and and do permanent damage to their you don't their think sexual organs. you think that a, an active resolution is to do further research on how to cope with that 
Mental exactly. Like disorder. find find out what 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 are, what are the bad parenting? What bad parenting is happening? What social contagions are happening yeah. in Some politics and in, in social media and things that is spreading such mental disorders yeah. through the population? I think sometimes, like I'm not saying I don't know. I hope I'm wording it right, but I think sometimes like. People put you, or you get put in situations, or situations yeah. happen to you that turn you to think this way. Because yeah. I know that there are some people that they 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 mostly deal with women because they just had such a fucked up yeah. situation mm. with men. They just said, "Fuck it, I'm finna go." Like literally, that's what it's like. I'm going there. It's not that. Oh, I originally got turned on by women. They just went there, and now that they had a good experience, when now they can uh, they can um. Put pleasure with yeah. being with a woman, or they can put it, but that's not what the first thing that came to their mind. They just had so much fucked up things. Like I can say, like I don't want to deal with no more ratchet ass women because I had so many fucked up experiences with ratchet women. I'd rather deal with somebody that's educated and whatever. Like yeah, it's, I feel like it's very good thing. advice. <laughs> but you know, but I think it's the same mm-hmm. thing. Like, <laughs> I'm not saying that that's personally my thing, but yeah. I, and I do not like ratchet women either. But I'm you just do saying, like ratchet I women? Don't. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I'm saying that somebody can be affected by a certain set of people yeah. and it can give you a different mind state. That's what I'm saying. And then now you you switch or you turn to like liking that more because now you had an experience with them you, that you but, like. But do you really think that you could be... What makes you different than the person that is victim to those campaigns of disinformation? Like, how are you... You know... Um, you, you know what? It could be arrogance. I struggle with it because I was like, you can't make me gay. No, you, you can't make me a transgender. Yeah. Yeah, it's That's like, the it's only like, thing so that, like, it, 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 well, it, 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 you have to think. Imagine you're a child, right? And you, and because that's why I think they throw it in your face and make it normal. Yeah, that's when you're a my kid. Time, like that shit was not thrown in my face. Yeah, like, exactly. You know but you're a kid, and you, and you can pick. It, you're making it so normal now that yeah. they don't even know that. But not only normal. normal, you're a kid, and you have to pick. You have a you reach a fork in the road and you pick okay if I go this route of being kind of awkward or whatever I'm gonna be bullied and whatever if I pick this route and I say I'm transgender I'm going to be applauded and put up on yeah, a throne boom, and yeah. paraded as as a I hero I think there's so an agenda. a lot of kids are gonna are gonna pick transgenderism as a coping mechanism because they might get like a Disney show exactly versus just being an awkward kid and going through just the awkwardness of life oh, and being yeah. bullied or whatever because they have this out now they have this mental disorder. As an out, it's fair. Yeah, that that didn't even look at that because sometimes you're just awkward. That's exactly. all it is. <laughs> I forgot really. what study it was, but it's like the majority of transgender like men, and that if you avoid trying, if you avoid cu- cutting their dicks off and all that bullshit, they end up just being gay. I, I don't even think it's that. I think like I think it's uh, some of it is exactly what you just said, bro. I think because sometimes you just you're not even gay, bro. You just been raised around a lot of strong women. And you just yeah. took on that personality because you didn't have a lot of men in your life. So you're not really gay. But if I just say that, like, I'm so awkward or I've been raised like this. Do you think there's I a did, lot of transgender? There's a lot of trans. There's a lot of boys le- that are gay. There's a lot of boys like, that are gay that instead of being allowed to be gay like back in the day, they're told maybe you're a girl. And then they go, oh, maybe I'm a girl. And then they're, 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 that, well, that's, that, that's the kids. opposite of what he's saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying no, he's saying that, he's saying that they're not gay. Yeah. Where I'm, where I, I well, would you say, you might not be gay. It's just that, like, just say if I don't have a strong male to, if I don't have a strong male yeah. to show me what what being a male, you know, being a man is, and all I have is my my yeah. mom. But and I look everything up to my mom, and she shows a lot of feminine weight. Because I know some guys that like, and yeah. I, I hate to say it, it's a lot of like dudes that I knew grew up in the church, and all they had was like their grandma. Do you think being whatever, gay? Like that. So, so I, I think so, being gay or lesbian gay. is definitely a birth defect. But I, I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. I don't think you could be. Pro- Programmed to be gay. Yeah, I don't no, I'm know. not saying program, but but I, I'm just I'm not even saying this is right. But I'm just going by what he said that like that was an easier way to out to say that like maybe I'm gay because now I got somebody to support me and to help me. Yeah, and I'm like and to help fight this battle than just to say like maybe I'm just a little awkward or maybe I'm just a little yeah. like like I, mean, I don't like I'm not I'm not super macho. Yeah, I'm not super macho. Temptations of the flesh is it's too overwhelming. When I see a hot chick with a big butt, my penis is gonna react. I don't know. <laughs> but I guess the, arg- the the question is, when you were a child, before you went through puberty to fully understand that you are attracted to females, mm-hmm. could something have happened environmentally that tr- that that fucked that up, yeah. and then and not, and That's then you saying. end up being gay? I don't know. But as far as the practical the practicalness of it is, some people end up truly attracted to the same sex, and some don't. 
and and a lot of people that would have just been a, your normal gay or lesbian that we're we're accustomed to in society, a ton of them are being tricked into thinking that they need to do permanent damage to their bodies to feel better, and then they end up regretting it because when they get old enough to understand, they happen to just fall under the birth defect of gay or lesbian. Mm. Regardless of why they're so gay or lesbian. They were going to be gay or lesbian regardless. Regardless, yeah, but, but they, they're being pushed. They exactly. get pushed into thinking yeah. that they're in the wrong yeah. body and they start doing these this mutilation. Because now yeah, right body, you're just gay. I, exactly. I, wanna, I would like to do a study on how many male transvestites are lesbians now. Like how many transgender women grow up to <laughs> think, realize that they're not that, women, but they're just gay men? No, they're, 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 they're women, but they like women. Oh. <laughs> they're lesbians now. Oh, so, so they're, they're, based on what that's he was hilarious. <laughs> but that's no, even worse. That's even worse. But you know, but that happens though. Yeah. Like, it's it's, it's people was... that I know. Like yo, it's this dude. Like like I'm you, a woman. I like women. So I'm a woman, but I like women. Dresses, <laughs> I know. I know these people. Like what a he's crazy so called, predicament. Like, I guess hmm. identifies as a female, so he dresses like a woman. Yeah, but he he goes with a a butch. Wow. That, that, so it's like, what no, the he, fuck are y'all doing? He's, 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 oh, yeah. He's you know, I seen, I seen a man he's who became confused. a woman. <laughs> but then, a man who became a woman got with a woman who became a man. Yeah. And the man that became a woman got the woman that became a man pregnant. So the woman got they the man pregnant. That they so no, I've seen that. It's like Jerry Springer or something. You imagine <laughs> so a, a female that looks female from the outside used her dick to get a man who looks like a man from the outside pregnant. So the man with the mustache and the short hair and the muscles got pregnant, and then the girl with the tits and the you know the nice feminine facial structure I would, was the one that it, got. It, 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 it would it would be the, it would that's be wild. Looking. It would be fair to say that's probably not the average scenario. No, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 special. that's a special case. <laughs> yeah. So that's like super. That's like that's like everything going. So wrong, I guess man. that's where yeah. they get. You know what? Though Extra- that's probably where they come up with that that buying everything. Well, you just like them. Well, you just like who you like. Yeah. Then there's demisexual. See, yeah. I think like, yeah, they, when they go through all them, I've learned. I, I've learned to see far. like when I see that in your bio, like, yeah, you did. Audios claims that he's demisexual, but then when I when I that went, means if a dude is actual. smart enough, he can get turned on. That's gay, dog. You're the one who said he's demisexual. <laughs> no, you because no. Yeah, no watch that. your fucking mouth. You didn't say that. No, I, no, I, let me say, I, say, I, 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 I said a girl. I met a girl who explained what demisexual meant, and she was like, "I don't necessarily get turned on necessarily from like like I had to be stimulated. Like it's almost like a sapiosexual or something like that. Where I like I'm more into. Oh, outside that might of be physical. the one that I'm thinking about. Yeah, sapiosexual. Say, I'm more sapiosexual. Yeah, sapiosexual is like, the one I met. Yeah, so, he, so if, if, that's the one I met. So if a man is smart enough, no, uh, that's, um, that's, that's audio not, will that's be attracted not, to not, him not, because he's, he's because he's attracted to intelligence and not necessarily male or female. So, so I'm gonna give he you missed, you know, you know, that's what I please, what, please, <laughs> what is safe? fucking okay, please, so, safe so please. So, so, so when I when I was in the space of exploring, yeah. like, okay, so there's there's different degrees because I'm, I'm I'm ignorant. I'm Candace Owens. I'm trying to learn. What's safe sexual? Because what the fuck that mean? And I was like, when she was just like, well, I'm just, you know, I'm, I need to be stimulated mentally. I was like, me too. I guess I'm a dim, you know, a safe sexual, but at, at the same time. I'm a avid, and I do mean avid, heterosexual. And I hate to have to say this on this platform where I have to uh, basically make that stand, but I feel like you guys are trying to create a narrative. So I, I think like. <laughs> so you're a heterosexual, but you prefer women. That can stimulate your mind versus women. So I don't I, even I know say, why you have to even come up with a class for that. Well, he's the one who's saying he's sapiosexual. <laughs> I say I'm heterosexual. He's the one saying I'm not a heterosexual. Hey, man, I'm a stop doing that with your hand with your lotty dog. I ain't, no, I'm a heterosexual man. And I thought I, I, I thought I like smart women, but then they be having too many so opinions. Demisexual is that you're attracted to personality regardless of I don't, sex. That's stupid though. Why would you need So I guess I'm like five of these things then. Cuz I like you're a transgender. No, I like intelligent women. No, I think this is stupid. No, like, no, no, you don't no, need no, all no. these are things. You, are you sexually attracted to only women that are intelligent or can you be sexually attracted to women that are kind of dumb? 
That's what I'm saying. So it's like no, I'm saying so can I'm, you? I'm, I'm finna tell you. Because right I now. can. So I can be attracted. Yeah. Hey, like, if a retard is hot, bitch is hot. That's just what I'm finna <laughs> say. So, but if a girl is less, I don't attra- want to talk about my history. So, but if a girl is less attractive <laughs> physically, but just she's smart as fuck, and I see, I, I could be attracted by that too. So now am I a demi or a semi No, or, it, it can be... Th- th- uh, yeah, I mean, or whatever the no, fuck. You no, like no. a pan section. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> a pansexual <laughs> might be personality. <laughs> 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 What's demisexual? <laughs> this is all confusing. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many topics we haven't touched. I'm losing myself. I'm checking my side. I don't even know what the fuck where I'm saying. like this. Too many words. <laughs> yeah. That's why I say it's Listen, like... It's you're gay, be. you're straight, or you're bi, in my opinion. And that should be And that's it. Or you're a pedo. Oh, who? Pedo. What the fuck is that? That's different. What's a pedo? Jared F- Fogle. That means well, I don't you, understand. What you're that attracted means. to, to actively pre before puberty, pre present, pre pre pubescent, pre. So that's a disorder. I mean, yeah, I don't know. it's so for I, sure a disorder, yeah. but it's a sexual orientation. Like I don't think it's something that it can turn off. I think that it's like you're wired that way. Yeah, like you just yeah, but that's yeah, that's another that's like another layer, right? Because then you could yeah, be you could be attracted to only. Girl minors or only boy minors. That nigga liked them all. Yeah, so that nigga was a pure, freaky. He, he, pure, pure Pete. Pure Pete. Pure, yeah, See, that's pure why he's Biden. Biden. <laughs> yeah. He's like our president. Oh shit! Wow. Now we definitely got. Canceled. You know Joe Biden? <laughs> hey, Joe Biden. It came out officially in in the court documents because the daughter or the the niece. No, no, no the granddaughter. The granddaughter's diary. The whole Huppabaloo, whatever. What's the? I know. What's that? So Ashley Biden's diary. Was like stolen or found or whatever, and in it are entries where she talks about how she tries to stay up late before she sh- before she showers because Joe Biden, the president, the who's a, he's a known uh, he's a known uh, allegedly. He, well, there's video footage. He's known to uh, be uh, allegedly. No, no, allegedly. video footage where it's known. Allegedly. No, no, I'm saying that there's video footage where allegedly. he. No, I'm saying is he enjoys. Remember the bullies I was talking about? No, I'm just saying he enjoys. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not making. I'm not making a statement about his sexuality. I'm no, just no, saying, I'm just talking about the bullies. <laughs> we don't want to fight with them. That's what happened to Caesar. No. <laughs> No, 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 This is just a known thing. You can watch footage of... Did we pose the community? Uh, <laughs> President Biden is known to enjoy the touch, smell, and, and feeling of... of, of Mine of mine. He likes to smell miners and touch. And minors. he gets aroused by it. I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, elaborate on <laughs> intent. I'm just saying that it's known that he likes to touch them and smell them because there's so video footage. That's what I'm saying. There's I, a different I, thing I would imagine. I, that, well, you, what did you say uh, uh, in the green room? That every, everyone does things for a trigger, right? Yeah. So I'm assuming when he smells uh, little girls' hairs. And he and he touches little girls. I, I'm assuming he's doing it for some type of pleasure. Yeah, I'm not gonna. But that doesn't mean it's sexual. Right, I'm so, okay, fine. That's so, fine. But so okay, reason but why I'm saying Biden, that okay. is because I, like, I, I've been told this. The only thing you care about is kids and. and okay, that's people. fine. But so I'm gonna add to that. On top of that, his son, in when his laptop was found, his son had. Uh, it was come. It came out that his son had Joe Biden, his father, in his contacts listed as pedo. That's his son. And then his his granddaughter had in her diary that it became officially hers because she it, it came out in the court documents that her in her diary, she wrote how she would stay up late to take showers because a lot of time when she showered, Joe Biden, President Biden would get in the showers for, you know, inappropriate okay, so time. Now, I'm quick. This is real quick. I don't understand <laughs> this, this is, is the racism shit I was talking about. If they would have found that shit about Obama, that shit would have came out immediately all over, and he would have been out of the. Well, that's not true because Obama Obama was against blacks, so he was on their side. He, but if a black man, we won't use Obama. I don't think. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so because they they were helping Barack Obama. They were so protecting you, him because he was with their agenda of hurting the blacks. Because you're, you're, you're he, thinking, Obama was very different before. So you still making my point then? So it's still racist because 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 he's down with hurting the blacks. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying if there's racism, it, it exists in the Democrat ideology under the guise of of of. But do you of, think like they did, they're not going after him so much? Are you thinking? What well, it can be just because he's the president, we don't want to make our president. Who Biden? Yeah, look fucked up. That's why. Because I know if well, that no, been, just, so if it was been like if it would have been any other black guy or any super. No, it doesn't have to be black. It's just, it has to be anti. If they're anti-establishment, like Trump. Trump was anti-establishment. They went ham. 
against Trump. So you think it's an establishment thing? Exactly. Not a black thing. It's a class thing. It's always a class thing. Classism exists 100%. Classism 100%. is real. 100%. And racism is used by Democrats to hide the classism. Absolutely. And to keep their, keep the black vote the, 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 the problem with the Republican Party, real quick, tangent, is that they're not, because they're so principle-based and it's all merit-based and, and, and it's the right thing to do, but I wish they would pander more to black people. Like actively pander out the black people the way that Democrats do, because and the way that Trump did, and he increased mm-hmm. his black vote mm-hmm. more than any other Republican. It's president probably in one of the elections. One of the failures of the Republican Party is just they're not they're because, their non willingness yeah. to engage because they're not really good at that. They're, they're Trump's great at it, and that was that is the phenomenon of Trump was he was able to rally up the yep. uh, you know but he increases black and Hispanic Republican vote. yeah especially the Hispanic vote because it's it's because you which is a was crazy to me because he's the Spanish vote but then you want to make a wall for Mexico well no because he because yeah he, because he, the principles of, of socialism illegal most, immigration and illegal immigration yeah he was socialism. never he was never anti-immigration he was anti-illegal immigration basically like we're a sovereign nation there's a process here <laughs> just go through the process yeah, he he has he has all kinds of minorities so working under him. Snatching people out of the out of the houses that was like no, you didn't go through the process. So I got to snatch this little kid out. I'm no, they, they, they if they got snatched out of the houses because they came here illegally. Well, yeah, they probably <laughs> just, committed a crime. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I'm not so like correct me if I'm wrong, but like if if just say like if two people like they came up, but they the kid was born here. Yeah, you talking about dreamers? Yeah, I guess yeah. So yeah. like, are they allowed to stay? As, it, of, as of now, they have amnesty, right? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 com- it's it's complicated. It's a complicated it's, conversation. It's a complicated but. situation because you can just, this is a country that they know. And in my in my in my, if you ask me, they it would probably grant it, it or they're going to keep kicking the can down the road. I don't fuck, I'm not going <laughs> to pretend to know what they're planning. Yeah. So, but ultimately, yeah. But I think when they actually deal with it, the 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 dreamers will be like in social security. I'm just saying, look up Ashley Biden's <laughs> diary in the court documents. So we have somebody who, who who has some information, and I'm saying that you should go out and look at this information because it's public. Exactly. And make your own Make your own assessment. Assessment. But just combine everything. Come f- find the videos of how he interacts with children. Pizza find gate. What, how his son Hunter Biden uh, identifies him in, in his contacts. Uh, and um, this is a look. fact. Like they know just for a fact that that's what the son has in his. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't it's know. Like pedo, pedo, I don't know this to be true. Pedo, pedo, pedo. But I'll, I'm gonna do pedo. a Google search, and 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 it, if indeed such things be to be, it's not hard for me to believe it though. Yeah, I'm just saying. So does the son think it's bad, or does the son think it's I, good? Uh, again? That's a conversation. I, I never met him. I'm just saying surface level. Surface yeah. level. There's videos Hunter. of him. Have you seen the videos of Joe Biden with kids? Not into okay, so f- watch the videos of Joe Biden. Okay, you've seen the videos. Yeah, of Joe Biden. Okay. It's, it's, it, there's, it's, there's some okay. questionable shit there. It was like, yes, Hunter Biden, his very, son, he's very called him pedo. And Ashley Biden, his granddaughter, wrote in her diary that he took when she was growing up at inappropriate ages, he was showering with her, and she would even stay up late to shower to avoid having to shower with. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Her creepy grandfather liked to shower with her. So. That's so when he tells you the story about corn pop, and then you know when you get into Epstein <laughs> and Epstein Island, and you get into all that interesting the stuff, Dems. then that's when I do start disappearing. So let me let yeah, me stop it. We got a lot of topics. We 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 a lot of topics. Let's let's yeah let's. I I will never kill myself. Yeah yeah yeah. We're gonna be we're gonna be strategic <laughs> here. I just caught us. <laughs> Okay, so we, uh, we, we, we touched basis on the transgenderism and our different takes on it. We've talked, which led into a tangent about uh, pedophilia and um, the current uh, president of the United States. Uh, no correlation. It was a good one. one, one <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what, theta, theta state? Oh, theta state of mind. So oh, this is going to be a fun one. So there's various states of mind. Alpha, beta, date, delta, and theta. Data is 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 a confusing one for me because it's it's Why almost alpha, beta, delta, theta. There's another. There's there's so more the, than one. The, the data and the, and the theta. What is that? Theta is the actual state of mind that I'm in the process of 
researching to get to on a constant state at will. I would equivalent to flow state. Okay, so the limited research I did when you told me about theta state of mind is that theta is the is the brainwave frequency or whatever that your consciousness is in when you're bridging that gap between sleep and awake. Mm-hmm. And there's an autopilot process that exists within that process that if you can tap into, this is research, this is just stuff that I'm reading, that if you can tap into, when I looked at it, this is where the words like auto map, yeah. map massivity, where things become second nature. Yep, yeah, we made the, we made a, I made a, a reference of like, he was talking about driving and driving high. And I made a reference of like, you ever drove somewhere and then you were so preoccupied with everything that you looked up and you was like, how the fuck did I even get mm-hmm. here? Because I don't remember being conscious yeah, about the driving I mean, part. it's usually mm-hmm. a, a route that you take all the time. So if you take the same way to work or the same way home. Muscle memory. You, yeah, you, muscle end, memory. Up, yeah, you end up where your brain doesn't so that's, keep it that's as a slow state that you're talking about with, um, with the athlete. But that doesn't seem like that's the same thing that you're talking about. Where like in between wake and sleep. that's theta state of mind from my understanding. So mm. uh, uh, okay, so 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 but he's talking about okay, so yeah, so he's so saying that is that is theta. Yeah, because we're using all these fancy words. So so <laughs> I, when I say I googled theta state of mind and it was literally the 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 state of mind between awake and sleep and, and sleep. Yeah. What is the practical explanation or the the practical because in that transition. You're not in a chaos. You're in a organized program that your body and brain is already over courses of time has already developed. So how do I tap into that in between that I can constantly be in that state where things are just acting according to plan where I'm, it's, it's second nature. It's like I'm not thinking so about it. I'm not like, conscious. That's like a flow state. That's like like a box. That's the flow like, state. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think that's the same as in between sleep and woke. I could well, because flow state... You you actually if you if you look up flow state like a boxer could you almost be blocking yeah yeah, yeah 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 exactly flow state because you're not even conscious of it no more you're just acting you're just moving you're just oh, doing muscle it. memory muscle yeah. memory it's flow state okay so, so my theory is theta is flow state it's the, it's it's but in a I more more okay so, so okay active, so I, I, get, I, yeah. I, I guess I see where you get yeah yeah I guess the question then is so what what are the ways to access more that's what I'm researching. Like how do I how, you, how do how do I get on? So my research start with finding out what theta was, mm-hmm. or the different states of mind, yeah. which, which initially was like, so what is that? So what, what is, is that before you go too far? I think. Uh, delta is hold on. We'll we'll defer to uh, information. <laughs> Carry on while I bring up these different states of mind. I had it too. They, um, yeah. So. Hmm. They, I, hmm. I don't know. It, 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 Yo, divulge, it's, no, I'm just nigga. thinking it's interesting. So the idea being that like as a switch, you'll be able to enter and exit. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's possible. I'm just saying that I think it would yeah. be interesting if you could. You know, like I, like I would see it as a study that's something that Some I'm super saying shit, bro. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm trying to think of the practical application where your theta state of mind. So I, well, once you acknowledge that the theta state of mind is a thing, I, I'm trying to understand. So alpha alpha waves, which measure between eight and twelve hertz, we talked about frequencies. But is that being just regular conscious, like us right now talking? Is that alpha? We get, we, we get in there Occurs when people are relaxed When their brain is in idle state with con- Without concentrating on anything oh, okay. It's like you're just Sitting at a bench park It's probably just... your more yeah. That's why it's called alpha It's probably yeah, the state of mind That you're You're, you're, just you're default Yeah Right you're just sitting on a park bench Eating a sandwich Just looking Beta up. waves which measure Between 12 and 30 hertz Are waves that occur During most conscious Waking states so that's data or beta? That's beta. beta. That's probably like us having this conversation right now. Yeah, we're in the beta because now we're trying to figure shit yeah. out. So audio is a beta for the no, record, let the record show. Don't ever say that shit again. That's not true. That's that's crazy. <laughs> it's like 
Remember when I, I, hey, how did they get the alpha male and the beta male? It seems like the beta male would be one. Yeah. Of them. You well, know what you're saying would be. But remember, I think we have to remember that alpha, beta. These are also Greek letters. Yeah. So when, when we're talking specifically about, it's like a numerical structure yeah. that they use to this apply. To order, like, so, I don't yeah. think that it actually applies into the colloquial understanding. Because remember, I the the guy that actually coined alpha male, alpha alpha males came back and was like, I was wrong. Yeah, alpha, beta, delta. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like those those, those the personalities don't. It's not true. Phi okay. Theta Kappa. Okay. Those are so, fraternities right. or something. Yeah, but it's Greek letters. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. So let's go into Delta, state of mind. And then we'll get to my theory of. Uh, I do want to learn how to meditate. It's on my bucket list to really get that discipline. It's really hard. So the benefits of achieving the Delta state of mind. Delta brainwaves activity has also been linked to some health benefits, including improved immunity, reduced stress levels, increased longevity. They are also thought to be involved in healing and may help reduce inflammation. That sounds like a lot of hoopla to and me. And what's Delta? Delta, what is the Delta state of mind? The Delta state of mind is anyone who wants to finish something shortly before the end of the day and then has noticed that it that it will take a little longer knows the dilemma and the voices in their head. Oh, come on. I can go. I can go on tomorrow or thank you. Yes. Anyway, if I do this now, this is where the Delta comes in. What? Confused <laughs> then. Next topic. I was like, that shit was fucking terrible. Um, <laughs> Okay, no, 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 no. We're we gonna stay here. I ain't gonna lie. That shit threw me the fuck. Uh, although we do delta live. waves are usually associated with sleep, they can also be generated in a waking state by experiencing mediators. When delta waves are mm. present, the body is in a state of complete rac- relaxation, oh, okay. I, I, and I, the so mind. So is delta kind of like a crossroads, like you're when you're deciding. So I'm thinking that delta is so like if you ever like been so so like if somebody dreams that they get hurt in their dream. But you actually feel it physically. Yeah. So I'm assuming that that's the mm. Delta state, like like where, like you can think this and it happens f- to you physically. Yeah. Okay. Because of the first thing you said, like and I can think that I'm better, so I something better, like I'm gonna heal myself, yeah. so because I'm thinking of it. That's where that. I'm, I'm just wondering, is there someone out there that knows the different theta, States? alpha, beta, delta? Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. Actively it's me. uses this knowledge. You, you don't even know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> actively <laughs> uses the knowledge to to improve their life. That's where I'm curious because for, as, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, concerned, my ignorance. I'm just conscious or unconscious. Well, and I'm subconscious, people. and I try my best. Hey, Dad. Uh, oh, the people who I think there is. So I'm not saying you're live. Bro, you gotta be on. You gotta be on. You're live. <laughs> you're live on. We're live in the podcast. Just want to let you know you're live. So whatever you're saying is being recorded. And what up, will be held mm-hmm. against. I just called to say what's up. <laughs> <laughs> you at the crib? Yeah, I'm at the crib. All right, I'm gonna hit kiddo, and then we'll swing by later. Uh, later on, after uh, after the pod, I got a quick meeting. And then after that, we are gonna swing up on you. All right, All right love you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's pops. Uh, uh, data. Data waves are strong during internal focused meditation. Mm. Meditation, prayer, and spiritual awareness None of those words matter to me <laughs> if ref- It reflects the state between wakefulness and sleep And relates to the subconscious mind This is why I want to tap into my theta yeah. uh, It is a ab- it, it, it is abnormal in, It is abnormal in awake adults But perfectly normal in children up to 13 years old It is also normal during sleep Mm, that's interesting. I guess I'm curious. Is there? I think it, that, that's because I think it. That's how like kids are so easy. Yeah. To pick up languages when they're younger. When they pick up, I think once you get older, you just stuck. their imagination and everything. Yeah. Less filters. Yeah. You know. I guess my question ultimately is: Are there benefits to differentiating between them, or is it just a matter of understanding the differences? But. I don't know. I guess the it's could the you I don't know. I don't, tap into I, yeah. them so is at it, will? So people is it just, who it, say they manifest stuff, yes. I think that's when they say they're in the delta. Of yeah. Is it just delta. interesting to know the different things, but practically it doesn't matter? You're just because you have no you control. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or is there some benefit to knowing all the different? I don't know. That that's interesting. I think if 
Maybe, maybe. Because I yeah. think if you That's my question If you can biohack Or mentally hack yeah. to, act, do, to, yeah. to, to, to access certain states of mind Who wouldn't want to be in a, 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 a state of mind Where you're able to Deal with your subconscious Way more direct I would I will For the record mm-hmm. I don't have the topics in front of me And we have had like zero segues <laughs> <laughs> this is how the show is ran when I am. <laughs> um, but we so uh, we are at the uh, let's see here the battle of digital libraries. So there is a case going on right now where there um, there's a battle in the courthouse between um, nonprofits who want to make certain copyrights. Mm. Public through through the internet, you know, you can go on the archive and the internet and find shit. And then publishers are kind of like, "Fuck no." Uh, where do you stand on whether or not? I don't understand it. Give me an example. I, so, from a capitalist standpoint, it's like no. No, but what's happening? Because so they'll they'll take books. They're taking books and dig, digital books and archiving them on the internet. And what the nonprofit's mission is to make them public for public access mm-hmm. and pro, and. Publishers so are, I, this is my take on it. If I, if I have you corrected, if it's something that's giving you knowledge mm-hmm. or something like that, I feel like yeah, you can make it public. But if it's something that you just came up with, like the Star Wars story, yeah, like that's just your intellectual problem. There's nothing to it's just then no, like, yeah, I, no, like, you know, no. I don't whatever. understand. So 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 I, if I write a book, then nonprofits want to make it digital. So there's nonprofits that 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 are are taking my book that I that I publish that I have my copyright on and everything. They want to take it, make it digital, and make it make that digital version available to the public without purchase through the through the internet archive, where you can go. There's th- where you can access things that have been published historically, digital versions of it, and they're not and they're not charging. No, no, it'll be public information. Because it should be public. Like, if you tell me something that's historically fact, that should yeah. be public information. But, like, if they, but if they digitally, digitally, like, put the, that, your version of, like, your particular book and your yeah. words and what you did, then maybe that's not right. You know what I'm saying? And they lost the fight by, in the court. Yeah. To, be, to, just, to make a point. I'm wondering what yeah. their, what their, what their logic was. Yeah, it, it's not logic, but that's I why I was like, if, if you give them information, that's yeah. cool, and it's known information, and it's known to happen. But I shouldn't take your book, personal book in your words and put it on. Yeah, and society's going the opposite direction. That's but if, like I, in the metaverse, you could buy property. But it violates copyright law. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Yeah, so, that's why yeah. you shouldn't take your version of what you said. They should just put the information. You know, like there. the penguin books when mm-hmm. you grew up. In, in in elementary and yeah. stuff and stuff, shit like that, you know what I'm saying. So, but at the same time, it was published. You know, yeah, we did. We got it. Th- so, perfect example. Those books were distributed through public pub, public schools. Yeah, should they be available? We already got access to them. Well, the public publishers school. own them. Yeah, yeah but I got it. And, public some, and some of the and some and of the schools the, bought no, the and books. Then, no, and then some stories are public domain. So certain things, I, I think everything's I supposed think to become public domain. No, everything's supposed to become public domain eventually. 75, cor- 75 years. There's corruption that yeah. prolongs things and the corporations have Disney. lobbyists. Disney that, is a, yeah, uh, uh, the main actor in prolonging. Uh, prolonging. Prolonging. Because yeah. 75 at, years, it becomes public a, domain. Exactly. So at a certain point, Mickey Mouse will. will is supposed to become or public should. domain. Yeah. Public, <laughs> public domain eventually. No, that's not right. No, 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 it is right because you have to think about something. No. You're not special. So you might be special enough to invent something today, but you're not special as far as someone would have thought of it probably, most likely. Who but knows from now? 100 years from now, 200 years from now, 300 years from now. So you cannot have a monopoly on ideas because all ideas are possible. Martin Mouse? What the fuck is Martin Mouse? You know, That's that- the one I was going to come up with. Seventy five years later, after Mickey, exactly. But he he doesn't get a chance to because. But Walt but Disney. no, it's Martin Mouse. It's not Mickey. Mouse. Exactly, but but, it's but, close but Disney and... Disney has rights to Mickey Mouse for a certain to a certain extent until it becomes public domain. So the public. So like a hundred years now, I could just come up with Mickey all over again and say now it's mine. 
No, 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 no. It gets to a point where anyone can use. Yeah, it use. becomes public domain. You can like actually anyone. go access public domain. We were talking about digital print on demand. Like I can go to a public domain website, find all the artwork that's public domain, and make it put it on a t-shirt as a graphic art and sell it, and have no worries exactly. about copyright and print. Happy birthday! Some some company try to own Happy Birthday the song, and that's why a lot of restaurants go and they don't sing Happy Birthday. They have their own restaurant version of Happy Birthday. The reason was because there was a company that tried to claim that they own the rights to the Happy Birthday to you, that whole version. It came out in the course, whatever, that Nas bullshit is public domain. So now by law, anyone can sing Happy Birthday. You could perform Happy Birthday, make money performing Happy Birthday. But if and- taxpayers paid for, if I, uh, books that I had access to in public, public school, do tax paper uh, taxpayer yeah. you know cost then I should have access to it in the public domain I mean well not public domain but yeah dude, I should but be having access what, to it internet so I, I see where y'all going but I think it once it comes to a point where it's making somebody's but livelihood depending, depending on the license I don't think that you should be able oh 75 years now and now it can no longer feed my I don't family. so how many years I don't understand the license between the if it's the something public that's keeping my family yeah, like livelihood you have a monopoly your family for generations and generations and generations are going to need money are going to <laughs> always benefit <laughs> off of that I idea think that's why I think you should do that yeah I don't, I don't so think you're a capitalist. That's I should your, agree. I that's your so. dark side. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I guess it's, it, it's you know, got to move move society along. You know, there's only so many ideas. A, I'm saying you can move along, but like I'm like something like the happy birthday thing, and like if you can't like, but like I do feel like Disney with the Mickey Mouse, like that is such a big. Yeah, but like, I mean, we're talking about, but you get you get a lot of a years. Big, it's kind of like pharmaceutical companies. When you create a new medicine, if we, the three of us, we created a better version of Viagra, we get X amount of years to be the sole owners of that patent and, and be the only ones that profit off of it. But eventually we, we have to let it go. And then other companies can make generic versions. That's how it is in the pharmaceutical company, for example. So you cannot invent a medicine, and then all of a sudden now, so because you invented the medicine, you have a monopoly over that medicine. So, no but, one else can ever but, sell but, it, and you can pick whatever price you want. But is, is it exactly as far they use the same? Yeah. They use the same thing. Yes. Just have these a generic name. Yeah. So I just I just thought like maybe okay, it's the same thing, but you just you know how some of them it's not really public domain, but you like how um, Publix can make cornflakes. They just don't call it cornflakes. It's the That's same generic. thing. Corn, corn, exactly. Yeah, just, but yeah. It's just a public brand. Same of formula, exactly. But no, but it's not the same formula in that case. So. Exactly. Not always. No, no, I mean they could deviate, you know, but they can have their. Don't like, make, don't make inspired by Frosted Flakes, but they're not making an identical version of Frosted Flakes. So uh, what about the, right, the so medicine is identical. There is no different differentiating between a, a, a pharmaceutical brand and, and a generic brand okay, in yeah. medicine. It's yeah, identical. Medicine, yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah. but don't they just get the rights to do it? They just get the rights from the person that did it? No, no, no. After a certain amount of time, I forgot how long, it, it just becomes open to the public. Wow, I didn't know that. I thought like they got rights for it, and then no. they just they do they in the just, beginning. But so, uh, so it's cheaper because they don't have to spend all the extra money to invent it. To invent it, and it's cheaper. They don't have to spend all the extra money to market it. Exactly because. They're, yeah, they're, they're but you call it already marketed for you. They yeah, but those, the, those first X number of years that our company invented it, we're getting all the profit. Yeah, because I thought just because yeah. we, we're so not gonna let y'all so do it. We, after we made so much money, now exactly. we're just now giving we can, y'all yeah, the right. Because then society needs to have access to medicine. Otherwise, we would have a monopoly off off of all the medicine that we create. But and I thought they still had to like give you pay pay you for the right to use no. it. I mean, I, I mean, I'm getting like I don't 100 percent know, but my but I can see that I can see that because that's something that's pushing society forward. Like I can't let you be the sole monopoly for it, and then you're like because but it's now, the same logic though. But no, it's different because now like I'm putting society's process or uh, growth. Yeah. You don't in think your society hands. needs art and entertainment and. But that's not like nah. I don't think that's like if I mean you. you that's you, what makes us human. If, you, if you're gonna put medicine on on a higher hierarchy, I'll probably agree with you. That's but what it's I'm still, saying. It's yeah. still a subjective hierarchy, anyways. I'm putting it on a hierarchy. Like that's that can. Be, yeah, yeah, I agree yeah, with I you. Don't, I, I would put know, it. I, don't I, don't I would put it above art, and I'm just saying the logic is the same. The three of us can sit in a room and create like, a new medicine. Disney, the the me- three of like us can create something that 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 otherwise could have been invented in the future, if we didn't invent it. 
there's all kinds of cases where things were, you can look it up, where things were simultaneously invented. The same thing was invented at the same time in, like, different parts of the world. But then that just goes back to, to like, to, to, to the thing where we was kind of saying, well, race is not to bring that up, but, but it's like... You just got there first. Ain't nothing to hold, hold that other person back. And that's why it. the compromise is after a certain number of years, it becomes public domain. So anyone can make profit off of it because you're not so special that you would have been the only one to have ever made this. Happen. I get that, but it's like at some point. So it's like, a, it's this, a decent this, compromise this, in my I, I think, like, no, nah, I think like once you, like, like if you were Disney yeah, and you was a Disney family, you would think different. Because now you'd be like, damn, okay, I done came up with this mason, but now my my great great granddaughter finna be fucked. How many how many how many times have you interacted with anything that had to do with James and the Giant Peach? Never, because I don't I don't I know the I know. Let let some other company make some gangster ass James and the Giant Peach movie. They can. They're just gonna call it different. You know how many movies replicate that? They just call it a different name, but like actually saying that, yo, this is my version. This is James and Giant Peach, and now yeah. I'm gonna put it out there. That's so true. like you can come up with another Mickey Mouse, and you can come up and but you just don't call it Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Call it like Martin, you said, Mouse. Martin, Martin Mouse. You can do that, yeah. but like for you to actually come in and say, oh, like oh damn, oh my nigga, you know tomorrow is seventy five. I'm finna come up with Mickey Mouse and make all the Mickey Mouse shirts and come the fuck yeah. up. You know what I'm saying? And Mickey Mouse is still jumping right now. Like, that's fucked up. I get what up. you're saying. You know I get what, what you're saying? saying, yeah. Like, the, Mickey Mouse, I don't the, think Mickey Mouse, like, because I think they're on their 50th yeah. right now. At what point uh, is it inspiration and what point is just theft, creative theft? Yeah, like, because now, like. So, I, I have uh, two dogs in this fight because one dog is like capitalism. I need to own this intellectual pro- uh, property perpetually for the rest of my life. And then the other me is like, I'm a producer, so I sample. So imagine how much, you know, is open to me now because it became yeah. public domain. You know, like I can create new inspiration based on stuff that I've listened to in the past, and and now I can use it in my uh, in my actual works, and it gives me a lot of leverage. Yeah. So I get imagine, both. Imagine yeah. Yeah, making a beat using Mickey's voice. It, it's 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 new. But it's like that's that, that's 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 still it's not the same because like. Just say, like, what he's saying when somebody takes an old sample. Yeah. Like, that is like, and he uses it now. Just say, I think it's 50 years or 75 years. 75 years. 75 years. When they take that sample, this DNA, nobody knows that sample. Yeah. So you're not, like, that sample is still not jumping. It's not jumping. So it's yeah. like, for you to have control of those chords right now or those things right now, and it's not jumping, but Mickey Mouse... is still popping. It's still popping. Well, I, I'm pretty sure And that, it's still on. And I, I would imagine that's part, of, that's part of their argument why they continue... Yeah, like I mean, well, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, in this so case, they're not, they're not giving, they're not losing it to public domain. Based, based on they have a lot of stuff that's over, like they should be public domain, but it's not. Yeah, based on this topic, they did not win. Uh, um, in the beginning, and you know, mind you, I wasn't the most learned, and you know, I didn't have all the pieces of the puzzle. But just getting into a place where, like, we pay taxes for the public schools, and we had taxes to get those books that we got to bring home yeah. because of lack of technology. Now I don't have access to this, but I paid the taxes that funded this. Should I have access to this in retrospect? Maybe yeah, there's something there that I wanted to share with my kids now. And then it all comes down to the license because I come understanding music, the business is like okay. So what was the license? It all that's the real question is what was the license between public schools, the public school system and the publishers in terms yeah. of yeah. using this um, literature? And um, it's probably why they lost because they was just like, no, we license this issue to y'all niggas for yeah, a cost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. But now maybe this is a new developed conversation for taxpayers to say, hey, I'm buying into a corporation that has social systems and because of that, I need to have certain well, equity in certain situations. So it's like new if, conversations. If, there's, if it's a history... Well, I'm, talking, I'm talking about us, the people. Like, people. So like, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, if yeah. it's history and you're going to take... That history and No I'm talking about The over If you paying for school If you paying taxes For public school Outside of just What I get Cause you know Kids They get uh, Assisted lunch You gotta pay for lunch Or whatever You gotta you know uh, All the programs That are involved Let's let's use a math book Let's turn it up Into business Let's use a math book So that's no Entertainment factor Whatsoever in the math book It just is what it is Two plus two Equals two Two plus two But I wrote this math book 
And then now it makes sense to say like that after 50 years it's public domain. But I'll, because like, I, it's it's, like there's it's, no it's, other way you can come up with two plus two. Yeah. And two is this, that. But like I, I, yeah, I created, now the way you structured it and the yeah, order yeah, and what yeah, you yeah, designed so, the problems and everything. So you could profit off of that for like 20, 50 exactly. years. Exactly. But now, but now after a while, bro, like yeah. how many? Like now you're gonna have lock on two plus two. Yeah. Or you know, what if I'm you saying? enter into the the there public, was no creative process on that. Yeah. If you're gonna benefit from the public school program that's federally funded. Uh, if you're gonna, uh, uh, you, then you now negate certain opportunities to hold your copyright because yeah, saying, yeah. you know. So, so th- there's this better conversation. It's just negotiation yeah. at this point. But like, if I use a book like, like, the hatch. Like they, just say Doctor Seuss. So they have the kids to read Doctor Seuss in the beginning because rhyming and mm-hmm. all like that makes it more fun for them and all like yeah. that, like that. Now, that's in that's in public schools. Now should. But it's, After it's 75 not, years Or we'll go back to It's I not part of the, cur- the curriculum So that I see Jan run Everybody like See Jan run Everybody yeah. like see, Heard that damn book uh, Somewhere there's, down there, the line There's, there's some book. Certain After publish- that there's certain publishers years, Maybe yeah Like no more years, Like you can't eat off Of this no more Certain publishers That are like Just like specific To the model Of public schooling That like, then yeah We kind of like Funded this So That's what yeah, I'm saying yeah. So but, but, not, run, but not no. Dr. 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 Seuss, Seuss no. no Yeah yeah Because that's 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 you get, creative That's creative. in the library Cause yeah, I, yeah. Like Not every property. Not every I came yeah, up with the yeah, way yeah, I talked yeah. to I came up with this Yeah But the CJ run That's like just a little Like the only way You could get we Growing up for me If you wanted a Dr. Seuss book You had to go to the library Yeah You know But there were There were books That were in the curriculum That was mass Distributed to the that's children That's the CJ and run thing Oh That was probably Before my time Yeah That's what I'm saying I was in um, the 90s Yeah CJ and run <laughs> Why did I get the bomb? So we got time for one last topic. One last topic. Make it, make it count. Make it juicy. Make it make count. us go viral. Oh, this. <laughs> <laughs> I think we went viral long. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Probably need to work anything on, on that. anything on your mind, guest of honor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I, I, keep I myself, have um, a. Okay, yeah. your takes on the Trump shit. Uh, Trump uh, on uh, indictment. Is this? Is it? Is so? There, is is this? A political witch hunt, but if he really did break certain laws, then it's just law acting fair yeah. and practice. What is your What are your takes? What are your takes? You know, I want to be fair, but I will say that there seems to be some agenda there. But at the end of the day, as any other uh, citizen of the United States, should we all be held to the law based on the law? We should be held to. It. Yeah, I think it's bullshit. It's a political witch hunt. I, I think it is too. Not I think, surprising. I, I think. I think that worst case scenario, he did pay off horse face, as he would say. Um, statue it. of limitations is already done with that. The the FEC, the election or yeah, the finance election, whatever commit, whatever they looked into it, they ruled that it wasn't a crime. So he should be good. He's, he should oh. be good. Uh, yeah, they, they, they're trying. I don't know the whole thing, but yeah, I feel like if he then. fucked up and he did something bad, you should have the contract. Yeah. Uh, but if you filed the loophole in the same yeah. law, in the same so, law, if you filed the loophole, like hey, hey other you. other presidential candidates have have paid fines for for actual wrongdoing with ca- campaign finance laws and just paid fines. They didn't get a. Pro- it was like anything. a process crime. Yeah. yeah. Um, they even, we even have like you know what do they call it? jurisprudence or whatever like his you know um, like it's happened in the past. I forgot the term. But uh, precedent with John to Edward re- precedent to yeah, relate to where yeah. John Edwards, you know, they try to get him for the almost identical shit, and they found out that it was bullshit. So when you look, so if Trump were to be indicted, because it looks like it's not going to happen now, but if Trump were to get indicted for to that Tuesday. bullshit, where they're pretty much saying like you re- your statute of limitations has passed, so we're going to try to connect this to a federal crime, even though the federal government already said it wasn't a crime, but they we going, as a state yeah. we're going to try to connect to a. Federal Federal crime because in the statute of limitation we have we have time for that and it perfectly coincides with the 2024 election coming up. I think it's all bullshit. Um, that are uh, that DA Alvin Bra- Briggs or whatever the fuck his name Braggs. is that DA he fucking lets all kinds of crazy crime go unpunished in New York City. He he <clears throat> he campaigned not outright saying he's gonna get Trump, but he you know he's a he's a George Soros 
DA. He campaigned on. Trump's you know, smart as fuck, bro. <laughs> that he knows how to switch the. He knows how to like use the media and yeah. switch everything. Yeah, to like and my manipulate boy. everything to go to I, I, whether he's right or wrong. He I just don't like. Flip the I don't like when he goes after DeSantis. That's so stupid. Yeah, yeah it's, I, I, I hate it. It's almost I like someone it. is trying it. to sabotage him. Because it's like who's giving you what this game? But <laughs> yeah, leave the it. man alone, governing yeah. in Florida, doing yeah. a great job. Let DeSantis be the great president that he can be. And DeSantis, and DeSantis keeps taking the high let, road. Yeah, let he just Trump, looks like the better so man. Trump, you have so, 24 so and 28. Let DeSantis, DeSantis come in after. It's so simple. So the DeSantis thing, so is the, I can, I'm asking this question. I don't know. But isn't there something where he, he wanted the females to like um, give their information for um, the period or something for the colleges or something like that? They said something. Like, you never heard about that? No. So something about he was trying to put a, a law in where like the for female athletes they would have to give like the information about their period mm-hmm. because of the whole like um, transgender transgender thing and stuff like that. Where because they was it wasn't supposed to be fair if a man yeah if they like, if, if, did a, a, a sports yeah. but you're a man. But have you're you going seen against, what men have been doing? But you're going putting yeah. on wigs. Speaking of the yeah. last, topic, I've seen it with the with the female the boxing. Oh, the the world. Um, I forget the name of this particular committee has banned. Oh, international tra- international transgenders. Yeah, transgender. That we, it was teamwork. It was teamwork. He brought it right up. I was like, yeah, that is on the list. So <laughs> yeah, I the, did not know the <laughs> world uh, outside of America has decided to say, "Fuck that shit. We banning it." For like you, international competition. Yeah, yeah, competition. You cannot if you're Yeah. You, you can't know. be number five hundred as a man and then go and just start beating world records as a woman. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. wild. Yeah. So should United States uh probably adopt what do you think? I obviously I think, think we're all so. gonna agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's I think know, that's just wrong, bro. What, what what a more interesting conversation that we could it, this could be like a cliffhanger to a future episode is is like you know, it, it's it, it, it's almost guaranteed at this point, just looking at the trajectory. That you know, China, Russia, BRICS, you know they're they're gonna be the new superpower. You know, England, America, Australia, Canada, we're all gonna f- fall. The inevitable downfall of society. Yeah, so it's gonna be. I it's, really mean you know, just how America. how are we going to how, like what like we gotta really we gotta really this, it. it might be a good after hours conversation to like really like I'm con- down. like how are I'm we down. going to survive in the new global political. You know, scene uh, the, where the, we're the, not the, number the, one. The, we're the not, do big not Yeah, we the do not new dynamics where, where, where yeah. the American dollar I may think, not lead the exactly. world. Exactly, and we and we have to the same way and other countries that listen. Happens. Other countries mm. listen when America speaks. We're gonna yeah. have to listen when China or Russia speaks. And they be like, we got caught up in our own bullshit. Exactly, we got caught up in our own hype. Yeah, uh, yeah and, and, and so and we have these four year cycles in politics and. So many people hungry for power, and so many people distracted by so much freedom that you know everything's just falling through the cracks, and no one's paying attention. Well, that's I a, guess that's a, that's a very we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna leave that pessimistic at. way to outlook. It's capitalism thing, but because it's all based on just yeah. money and not based on what's better for the yeah. World. But what, what keeps me hopeful to to say a final thought in a more positive light is that. I think historically America has proven to use our freedom to 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 manifest greatness in the world and not fail like it's looking like it's going to be. So I think as I get older, as we get older, we pay more attention, we're wiser, and I think that that gives us a bias to thinking it's like the worst craziest time and there there might be something to the fact that every Everyone before us also thought it was the worst, craziest time. So I think there's that good chance that we're gonna overcome this and continue. At the same time, every civilization has know. failed eventually. So that was that hope. was gonna, <laughs> there's hope. <laughs> that was gonna be my closing. Egypt has failed. Rome, Rome has failed. Greece has failed. Nobody gets to rule forever. England, and England, England was, has, it was the superpower. We had to take our independence from England, England, and now they're a bunch of cucks. So at this point. You learn to hunt, fish, and fend for yourself. Teach your kids mm-hmm. some of these uh, uh So who did you say was going to be the next, next in line? China. Bricks. That whole coalition. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. That whole shit. They yeah. starting a whole new clique yeah. and leaving us out. That, you know, World War Three. when World War Three starts, is going to be 
them against a bunch of transgender motherfuckers <laughs> sitting there <laughs> <laughs> crying for safe spaces as the bombs mm-hmm. are going off exactly this is the way you wanted it America fuck you <laughs> final <laughs> final thoughts Tino mm. <laughs> He's like, where do I go? Yeah, it was a lot going on in this one right here. And I think, well, we're glad to have you back. It was I, fun. I, 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 I enjoy myself every time, and it gets better and more easier to do, and I have more fun every time. As you see, I talk more. Yeah, nah, absolutely. But you know, we we cover so many topics. I I think you should bring like one or two, something that you're not passionate. I think. About. No, we can do a bunch of the other ones where you're caught off guard. You have no idea what we're gonna say. I like that. Yeah, I, I know. Think, I like where I because I think. Yeah, and I think it just it is better for like just good TV. Like, yeah, I can be the the normal one that doesn't really know majority, but I do have yeah. an opinion once I figure it out. That's true. But for the audience on. too, you know, something mm-hmm. to personalize it to you. Well, I would have to think about so any, to anything that comes to your mind that's unique or interesting. You could just. Throw it in there at the last minute. Hit us, hit us in a group chat. Be yeah. like, "Yo, yeah. I think we need to talk about this." I got this on this. my mind. I got that on my mind. And I'm gonna bring it to the table and be like, "Yes, let's 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 bring it to the table." So this has been another successful episode of RST Red Solo Talk Podcast. I am your host, Audio Jones, with the hostess that know the mostest, Manny El Fuerte, and with our regular, I got. Tino. Tino. I'm and not the, I'm not the over <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's been another episode of Red Solo Talk. Until next time. Bye. Bye.